54. Five more episodes. In and in and Takoyaki Party six episode sixty four is the, the full title, but for the purpose of this uh, this bit, I'm going to be doing it's called Takoyaki Party sixty four. My name is Matt, and my favorite Nintendo sixty four game is uh, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. That's... I'm also joined by Jeff. It's your favorite my Nintendo sixty four favorite... game is Ocarina of Time, even though I played it on GameCube <laughs> with that special uh the like special version that came as a pre order bonus for Windows. Yeah, Waver. okay, okay, yeah, I get you, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I didn't have an N sixty four until GameCube came out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Good okay, that's like that's like that that's a a very uh, generic answer. Like, everyone likes that game, so it's good. Okay. Alright, Ryan. Well, I think we already know your history about Nintendo 64 about not owning one, but you still have to, you can still. I, I have, have I, I, I borrowed the N64 like a long time ago though from my friend. But so my answer was gonna be Ocarina of Time, but then Jeff stole my answer, so <laughs> I'm gonna give a different answer. It's gonna be really weird. It's uh, Pilot Wing 64. Okay, yeah, that is a weird answer. I mean, mine's really probably the fun. I mean, it's like the one, two launch games that came out on the 64. I know, because that was the only two games I had. It was like a tech demo, basically. Yeah, no, kind of. Yeah. Kind of, I guess. I, it was like, you know, you're flying around and stuff. I, I mean, I don't know. I was, I was like, you know, 12 years old or something. It's looked really fun to me. Yeah, you just like do, mess around with different kind of flying things. Like you have like paraglider, you have like parachute, you have... Like a plane. Yeah. I mean, because like there's pilot wings on the Super Nintendo, and that was also like a launch game, so it's yeah. kind of mirroring that. Which, speak of devil, I guess like this today is like the 30th anniversary of the Super Nintendo. Oh, or Super Famicom. They Nintendo. should they should re-release uh, Super Mario World. They did like a billion times already. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like there was the Super Nintendo Mini from like three years ago. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So yeah, this is not this is the not the video game podcast Takoyaki Party. This is the idol podcast Takoyaki Party about NMB forty eight. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we've done a regular episode. We just like came back from our our concerts, our concert reports are high, and now there's no more concerts in sight that we're gonna go to for the, the immediate future, especially with Corona kicking back up here in Japan. Um, but yeah, let's talk about. First big uh, thing we're talking about is uh, the new single, Koi Naka No Thank You. It is out. Um, and uh, at the time of this recording, we only know about the first day sales. Uh, no, we do and... know. We know. We know. We know the later day sales. But later they, days, they, but they it's like very, not very, very unimportant. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, yeah, it's not like four digits or anything. Actually, it's four digits. It is. Uh, anyway, first day sales they got is one hundred seventeen thousand. Yeah, first day and also first on Oricon. Yeah, but it is it is by far the worst like performance opening day. Yeah, opening day for NMB. But you know, the thing is like I don't know. It, it's it is this is fanboy wars, right? Like oh, you know, you guys suck. You can't sell blah blah blah. But mm-hmm. like considering like the situ- the corona situation, right? And then considering like all the hanashikai that they sold, and it's pretty much like every you know we're 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 coming up to the point where everyone is gonna sell out again. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's a so, slow burn. Like yeah, I, as I, as is this recording, it's like uh, only three rounds have happened so far. Yeah, and like I think only Coconut, Ion, and Suchan are the only ones actually completely sold out. Well, Miki is completely sold out, but oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess of the top, it, the most because yeah. they kept on adding slots for members as they sold out. Like, yeah, some of them had like you know four slots, three slots. They added so... the extra. So the, the, the good thing about like being online is that they don't have to worry about slots for members. So uh in, in the in, in normal handshakes, right, they, they have like literally like lanes. So you have to yeah. set up the lane, you have to hire the baito, the, the hagashi, the timer and all of that, right? So there was a there's an upper bound on like slots that they can create. Yeah. Now there is no upper bound for slots that they can create. Like what's limiting them is literally like an iPad iPad. I mean, they still do have like you know timer staff, or you still, they still have staff like monitoring the calls, but it's still like not to the extent of like a real handshake event where you have like you know people who check you in, you have two people who check you in, and then you have the person who checks your ticket when you go in, and then you have the person who pulls you out. Yeah, I mean the so, yeah. the manpower required is like it's vastly half, different, right? Yeah, yeah, half if not even less than that. Yeah. 
So that's what they've been doing, right? So like for example, like Wakapon or like Sadharu or Mikana, they started with like, you know, four or five slots and then they yeah. got upgraded all the way to like full slots. To seven, yeah. Yeah, because you know, so they keep selling and then oh okay, let, let's uh let's promote them, let's promote them and promote them. And it's good because like the, the really top members were just like completely sold out. Yeah. I mean, there's still, and also because you have like weird like missions. So, like, you had uh, Akarin, Sai P, and like a Suzu, you know, she's not really a top member. They had their own separate uh, handshake slots that were earlier this month, actually. I actually did the Akarin one. Um, <laughs> and that was like super limited, and also, but those also like sold out. Like, it was impossible to win. Like, I only won one ticket out of the, I think, two or three I applied for. So, it was just crazy hard for Akarin. Um, also, I guess this is also the first time, so 7 Gen are doing. Uh, these kind of event, events and I yeah. guess they all started out with one slot yeah. but those started selling out like I think so who who so, selling out so Mew so Mew, Mew like instantly sold out right so they yeah. kept adding and, Mochan. and adding yeah and Mochan but then Mochan was like uh, the her, her slot additions were like slower than Mew so mm. Mew is like four slots now yeah. and Mochan's like three and then yeah. there, there are a bunch of like two slot girls now. Yeah, like Mighty and no, IP. I don't know. My, no, IP or and uh, Fuwa has Fuwa. A co- has a Fuwa few has now. two, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So like even even at this, I don't know. I think I think it's way too early to actually like you know say like who who is like really who won in MB. <laughs> Who's like uh, leading? Stop the count in seventh because. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Donald. No, keep, Matt. keep counting. Keep counting. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I I think it's way too early though because like yeah. they haven't like you know like the, the what we're going to be talking about today right is the new stage and then there's they're going to be starting showroom like soon. Oh, sorry, breaking news. They're breaking gonna, news. They're going to be starting showroom <laughs> soon. But yeah. uh, I think it's way too early though. I I think a lot of fans are just you know going, going off, off of first like... impressions, right? The yeah. intro, the intro stage, and then like the pictures and the yeah. documentary. Yeah, so we don't know. We don't know. Like I don't know. Mew, Mew is popular because she's pretty, and then she's twenty three years old. We don't know yet, like how her personality is gonna be, right? Like you know, uh, be successful or not. I mean, right now she's at four slots, right? But we don't know what's gonna happen, like as we go on, because like these kinds of events, right? It's an actual talent to be good at these. <laughs> So there, there are girls who are horrible at like handshakes. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> she, she max slots for. Yeah, she, for, she sold, sold out. out man. It's because people sold are out suckers. First. They don't have the proof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matt, like Alex Jones conspiracy theory. <laughs> Matt, Matt is the biggest Ion fan I know. So let's let's not. I, I I'm I'm spreading that uh, rumor, Matt. By that, the way, that, add that to two chan. Yeah. <laughs> so this random white guy named Matt. Yeah, it's like the biggest. Says, says Ion he hates T-O. Ion, but no, he actually likes Ion. <laughs> he has "I love Ion" like tattooed on his back. I mean, like, I, with the whole like first impression thing, I mean that's enough to convince me to buy like thirty Misaki tickets. <laughs> <laughs> See, so, I was I was um, telling I was telling Matt this that like you know she could I mean she could be fucking boring. Yeah, but it's also like I bought like tickets for for all like days because there's like six days, five days worth of events. Yeah. So at this thing, there's like a lot of events. So like actually, I've been buying more. I think now my total around this for this time will be like uh like 130, 140 maybe. Oh my god, <laughs> that's way more than me. <laughs> yeah, and there's not even like voting or ring ring card. I did our ring ring card. What the fuck but... is wrong with you, man? Because <laughs> I'm buying tickets, because I'm buying tickets for more members and on more days. Like I'm doing more than average because the whole island thing makes it like, oh, it's so easy. And I was like, I want to support the members. Like you know, I want to help like, Matt, you. Like, Matt's, so. Matt's turning into like some massive DD now. Crazy DD, but it's more like I just have, no, I have like my roster. So I didn't even buy Nagisa this time. Okay, so my my question to you, Matt, is like, when when was like when did do you feel was like your your peak of like being Wota? Was it during Sayaka time or is it now? Uh, it's both, but like different it's, for different. It's reasons. different, right? Like I think because they're like my like I was like very like you know all forty eight DD you know Wota like I had favorites in each group, mm-hmm. but as those members from the other groups started leaving, and then I just like okay well I don't really care about you know HKT or SKE anymore or AKB anymore, 
And then, but then I started having some more favorites in in MBS. Like longer, I started like getting digger, dig, digger deeper into it, and then like like oh, there's more ones I like here. I mean, and then also like you know the community, like me and the other fans who are into in and I'm like okay, yeah, I think that's the story for all yeah, of us, essentially. <laughs> so I'm I'm like I'm like I'm about as big as I am now, but now it's just one group. Oh. Where before, like you know, I was going to like fucking you know Wada Nana and like. Uh, what a nana <laughs> <laughs> of all members like, I, 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 find, I find your your your, your roster like, every time i find out about your roster man i just get really <laughs> weirded out like you like you you me. starting from achan is like the weirdest thing for me <laughs> see i I, I like the the main faces and stuff too at one point i liked my you and then i realized she's kind of a not very the... nice person so <laughs> <laughs> I even, like, got Kodrian for a minute, and then I went to her finally, and then I was like, oh, she's, like, really, like, really? boring, bored, <laughs> bored, and, like, done with this, which then I guess, like, Koji Haru, Koji? right? Koji, Koji, Koji Haru. Yeah, okay. I was like, what, Koji? Did I say Koji? Oh, shit. See yeah. how long I've been, like, I've been into NMB too long now. <laughs> Koji, Kojima equals Koji. Yep. <laughs> like, I, I but, never, I've never, yeah. like, what, I've never been to, like, you know the the top AKB members, like the highest ranked member I've ever like handshaked with was Sayaka. Okay, yeah, I guess, yeah. Akimoto Say? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yamamoto. I also like didn't start going to events till way later. Like I didn't start going to events till, like 2014, 2015, mm-hmm. just because like uh, one either I was in Japan yet, or it's like my I had a job where I couldn't actually go on weekends, which is when they have all these events. So it was until I changed jobs, I could actually start going. But at that point, you know, like most of the top members were already gone or on their way out. Um, but you kind of have like your bucket list members, like okay, I'm gonna go check out this member, this member, this member, just to get, just to say I did it. Have it's you done? Like, did you ever do paruru? I did do paruru. Oh my god! I did two shots. <laughs> two shots is one I do. I kind of like my bucket list. Oh, I, I guess my my chance at meeting the member. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to talk so much, and you get a photo to remember. Yeah. So you got the paneru. Yeah, I went to well, when I went to her. It was during like she was the only one that had like this like cage setup where everyone <laughs> everyone else had tables. And uh, yeah, but then yeah, I was like, I went to Yukidin for that. I went to Mayu for one of those because I think yeah, it's very little risk when doing the two shot stuff. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, yeah, anyway back to NMB, back, <laughs> back to, to NMB. events. Uh, but yeah, um, also in addition to like the normal uh, online calls that I've been doing, which are all all in December and January. Uh, they've also did a special thing for the seventh gens using uh, doing sign kai's, where they would uh, a live live signing sign kai, which a lot of chica idols and I guess K-pop groups also do this, where yeah. it's like a YouTube stream of them. So like them I, I didn't have... I didn't I didn't know how sign kai's worked, like even for K-pop or whatever. I always just assumed that it's it was like a, a like the, the normal like Zoom calls, and then they would sign it in front of you. Some of them do. Like, there's there are groups that do like individual ones. Oh, okay. Um, but this was like more like a public one. I think some Chicago groups do this. Like, I think like uh, like Hello Project has done this. Probably. No, so, so because I because I watched uh the seventh gen thing on YouTube, right? I, now, now it keeps fucking like uh, recommending me like all these Chicago <laughs> like, some, some events. Okay, because it wasn't even through NMB directly. It was like some other no some company. Uh, yeah, Rimitsa, Rimitsa, or whatever, something like that. Yeah, and that's like how you had to buy the, the tickets for this, the signs for this, and it's like, um, you had to buy like all three versions. You had to buy the, yeah, you had to buy all, th- is it three, Jeff, or four? Yeah. I would say you don't yeah. need the lipstick stuff. It, it was, so it was like, it was like 4,000 yeah, 5, yeah. or something like that, yeah. And then, and then it was credit card only, so that's basically why I didn't do it, because I don't have a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to borrow like Andy borrow from Andy credit card limited or something um but anyway yeah so you could pick a member and it was like there's a member who did the sign and there's another member like as like the I don't know, like the spotter or whatever I'm not sure how to call it who like, they would like the read a message reads the messages yeah yeah so like you would pick a member it's like say I picked Mitsaki and then I'd write a message I want to say to her and then uh, Fuo was like with her um so she would read the message to her and that's how it went yeah um it was actually, actually kind of that, fun to watch yeah yeah, kinda. I think the first day was kind of rough for some of them because like they weren't, you know, this is the first time doing this, kind of getting used to it. But I guess I didn't watch the second one actually. But I heard like the second day was a lot better. Yeah, I guess so. 
Uh, I mean, uh, they they became like more used to it. So I watched. Mm. I, I mean, I didn't watch everything. It was like six and a half hours. So I I I watched like the start of each each member, and then you had Takeda barbecue. Yes, which I is think that's important. what happened. There was cross platforming, competing yeah. platforming. Yeah. So <laughs> Takeda barbecue was like more fun to watch because the future the future center of NMB was on it. <laughs> oh, walk upon. <laughs> <laughs> you See, I, set, I set that up for you. You walked man. right into that, yeah. No, no, I, I set it up. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Any any thoughts about it, Jeff? The Sankai? Yeah. I barely watched any of it. Okay. But like I, I one thing that stood out to me, like some someone already bought three sign cards from Miu or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah. I mean it's very common. Like it was uh there were a lot of members who who did that. Man, people really like, I, really gunning for being uh TO. TO. Yeah, like a lot. There are Walters who like love the idea of being To, like Kozan. Not not even To though. It's like Kozan. Kozan To. Get that early. Uh, get but that Kozan early actually costs money. Like To, uh, I, I'm sorry. To costs money. To To does. Ah, uh, sorry. To costs money. Kozan doesn't. But you gotta maintain it. Remember. Well, yeah. no. Kozan just means that like, you were you were you were like you got Ninchi early, because like they're not gonna forget you, right? So. Can just claim to be Kozan forever. I, I'm I'm Harakar and Kozan, <laughs> <laughs> but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I only watched like the Misaki one parts on the first day. Um, I found out she's left-handed. I didn't know that. Did anyone write English messages? I don't think so. No. Apparently, Groovy got some, but we didn't. We actually need to go back and check see if he if he, they got a, a shout out or not. I don't think he got Misaki though, did he? No, no, I think he he, 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 he said IP. he said he got um Fuwa. Fuwa. What's Fuwa? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, it's kind of like what they're doing with the calls and stuff for the single. Anyway, let's talk about the single itself. So, uh let's talk about the head the the lead track, Quinnaka no thank you. Uh so this is kind of like a I guess like it's like a poppy song, a beat song. Uh, I think when I first listened, I'm like, okay, I don't hate this immediately. That was kind of my initial thought. Because <laughs> <laughs> even so, like when I first heard like Date Date Date, I'm like, oh man, what is this shit? And then actually now, I, I really like that song. So um, all the post uh, Sayaka singles, wh- where does this rank for you? Um, so it's Tokonoma, Boku yeah, Date. Better than that. Boku Date. Uh, no, Boku uh, Ekaide. Ah, sorry, Boko, not Boko, yeah. fuck. Boko Kaire. Uh, about the same. Hatsukoi. Worse. Date, date, date. Worse. So, like, three or four. So, this is, like, yeah. middle. Yeah, middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. So... It, yeah. Better, um... yeah better, better than Takunoma. Yeah, Takunoma's terrible. Takunoma is <laughs> the best. <laughs> <laughs> I would put it at like the bottom, like like <laughs> out of all NMB singles, I would put it somewhere uh, around no, the bottom. I wouldn't go that far. There's worse than that. There's virginity. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's the worst. I'm saying it's around the worst. It's in the low tier, or whatever the F yeah, tier. It's it's in my. Nah, low I would say D. I would say D tier. Anyways, we're not we're not gonna do that. But <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll do we'll uh, do our rank our rank it podcast later. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I thought like. My first impression for Koinanka was okay. okay. I didn't think it was a generic idol song the first time I heard it, which is like okay. high praise because everything to me sounds like a generic idol song. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't particularly like like fast songs, so this is not a fast song, so that's good. That was good for me. Um I thought the 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 chorus was very uh earwormy, mm. which which is very good. For, for an idol song, right? Yeah. I yeah. just don't think like the 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 negative for this uh for from an idol fan point of view is like there's no like call parts. Which I guess works because of Corona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there's no part where it's, it's not like that. uh for example like um like Kiragawa Kenji, right? Like na 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 then you, you can you can just call 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 with it, right? And then yeah. you can say no or stuff something like that. But there's there's nothing in this song, 
So it's just like a, a flat song all throughout. Yeah, yeah. So I can't imagine being very hyped to, to hear this. But like yeah. musically, I have no problem with it. Yeah, I think that's how I feel too. Also like the random English lines in it. <laughs> <laughs> just, no thank you, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I have a feeling it's not going to be played much ever again after Akarin's mm-hmm. gone. Mm. Like I guess so. It's like uh, Hatskoy, right? Like they 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 never play Hatskoy anymore. Yeah, only for members who are have a connection with Yuri. Yeah, or like even Bokudate Naichao. Yo, it, it becomes really awkward. It becomes really weird too, right? When they start playing Bokudate Naichao. Yo, yeah, it's like oh shit, they're doing the Saika song. Which, which <laughs> does this mean that like Date 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 is gonna be like the new anthem? Mm, I think <laughs> it's like it's like a good like new gen like kind of like, because like uh, I, yeah. thinking about it right like so I don't know I don't actually remember what I said when we discussed that 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 I probably did I probably said it was very generic idol because it's it is but I remember saying it was very like Hinata Zaka like yeah you know what it's very like Yun right something like that yeah it 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 is very like that 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 has the that 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 part. Which is like very easy to like copy. Remember, yeah, and it, yeah. It played so much, yeah, and like I've seen like comedians and stuff who who like you know dance to date date date, yeah. So like it's a very like copyable. It's very copyable. Yeah, yeah. like the the hand motions. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think like, I I wish like they would have pushed date 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 more, but it it's good. It's kind of like I really because of like how like they the song this year was like especially with all like the wine in and like. Uh, you know, online program and stuff that was like always like the backing track yeah. for every song for everything like you know like Tokyo Rainbow you can't think of it without that Thought the Feeling Company can't think about that um, just a bunch of stuff whenever I hear it it's just like it's there it, it kind of overtakes yeah but I think I mean because it's Ion and Coconut Center it's it has more of the like future it's more future proof than this mm. yeah because um, I thought it was really hype when they sang Date 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 in the Jisedai concert in the Dolly concert. At the start like, of Oh, it. shit! Date Date! Yeah. Yeah, because I think that's why I think we were kind of bummed. Like, it didn't show up until the very end of 10th anniversary. Yeah. But then they flipped it and it was the first song for the next gen concert, so yeah. Yeah. Anyways, but this is about going on. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how we feel about the song so much that we just want to talk about Date 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 instead. Yeah. <laughs> no, because uh, I, I like the song, so... Yeah. Uh, like, do you want to talk about the music video? Yeah, sure. Uh, It's... And the costumes, like okay, I love like the two sides. There's two. There's two sides to this to the costume discussion. Yeah. There's like just like the dance, the good the dance one and the, the shit ones. Yeah, and the dance ones are the shit ones because it's all yeah. white, and like <laughs> Akarin's like dress looks like a cupcake. <laughs> she has like a yeah. I don't actually like Akarin's dress in the the normal one as well. Yeah. She has like a weird like leather jacket thing. Yeah, but at least it's like it's more. It has, there's more color. That's why I like is there's color. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true. Like the dance, like, the, whole, like, the dance one's pretty shit. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole theme of like the video is like they go to like Akarin's like beauty parlor, beauty school, or whatever, and then they all get. No, she's like producing like a music Produce. video. Yeah, like a, a photo shoot. Yeah, and so yeah, she gets all the members dolled up and stuff. So, do you want to talk about the 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 controversy? Like we we talked about this on the Discord. <laughs> What's the controversy? <laughs> It's news to me. So, me. Uh, <laughs> we should Tell talk about, about the Akarin's girls. Well, we, we've talked about the Akarin's we've talked girls about that thing in, 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 I mean, multiple like times. The, it's right? obvious when you stuff. it's so, obvious when you watch the music video who gets the most camera t- camera time. Yeah, yeah, and it's Akarin's girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, because like um, so. There, there is a bunch of like scenes that are very obviously, very obvious, right? So there's a, there's a scene with Ume Yamamoto. So it's Ayan and Kokona, and they're, they're the camera is like panning over bo- through both of them, right? But for some reason, like, uh, it, it always like stays at Kokona longer, and yeah, and then there's there's one with like Rechan and Mikana, and then like Rechan barely gets any screen time, even though she's supposedly like you know number seven or something in the positions. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just like very, very obvious that like you know, Akarin had like input into how to shoot it. Akarin Lucas had <laughs> input on this, how it should be shot and edited and cut. Yeah. I mean, there's an entire like YouTuber like section 
where she like interviews Kokona and then says like oh I wish you would be like more more funny like you are when you're n- n- off camera she yeah I mean she uh she also recommended Kokona for Tepen Radio right and then like yeah she 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 just really likes Kokona <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, and she, news. yeah she did take her spot yeah on the radio show oh sorry uh, did yeah, i spoil that, that yeah but it's all right that's that's the news we didn't even have it in the news but that's it <laughs> <laughs> uh what's up with harakaran's like dress <laughs> like, oh my cab- god cab- cab- yeah. Girl, cab- yeah. Girl yeah oh my god so costume. so how do you feel about it as a uh, official harakaran to man <laughs> i gotta feel weird <laughs> Like I don't like I don't really see Harakaran in that like style, even though that's kind of the new thing she's been pushing is the whole like kind of grab your fashion. I, I, I'm trying push. to think of a, an English word for it, like, and the only word that I could come up with was trashy. <laughs> I can see that, yeah, I can see kind of trashy. I mean, slutty. Kind of I mean, it's not slutty. Kind of Britney though. Spears, like, uh, like, like uh, towards the end with time, Kevin Federline kind of. thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, like, what the what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna say like you know whose outfit was my favorite? Mikana. No. Oh, well, what, it's really? really nice actually. No, it's Wakabon. <laughs> okay, okay. I really like her outfit because I don't know it. It kind of like really matches her. And whenever I see her icon, because her her current Twitter icon is that is her wearing that dress. Mm. And like I always think that she's like much cuter than she really is because of the icon. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know if that's a diss to her or I'm praising her. Yeah, that's um, what we're kind of, I'm gonna look at the video right now as we go in. So go, has nice... go go to her go to her Twitter right, uh, or maybe like the makeup too right, makeup and hair stuff. Mirrors. So maybe she should just get Akarin to do her makeup and hair all the time. <laughs> get her full time. So what about I don't know you how guys? I feel about the top bun though. I like the top bun. I don't, I don't really care for the top bun. Oh, you like the 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 Orochi like the straight hair. Yeah, I'm always yeah. Like, I prefer straight, straight hair. Oh, I'm I, I'm a big fan of like high ponytails, even though that's not a high ponytail, but it, it's similar to a high ponytail. Okay. Any other thoughts about the video? It was like the one part where I guess it stops, and you have the little like kind of like, brief pause where, uh, was it Miru and Nagisa and Kokona come out? Her, her Sa- girls was, plus her, Saipi. her girls plus Miru <laughs> come out <laughs> to greet her. I thought it was Saipi, not Kokona. I think okay, it was Saipi. It was Saipi, okay. Yeah. All right. So Nagi's a Saipi, Miru. It was like, I guess, top. But then, like, you see the others, like... Yeah. The, the video is nice. Uh, I think uh, they spent... So, they spent... They spent a good amount of effort on Hatsukoi because it was Yuri's last single, right? And then they spent a good amount of effort on Koinanka No Thank You because it's Akarin's last single. Mm-hmm. So that, right. that just basically means that uh, Date Date threw the short straw. Uh, really? one. I think oh, I, I have one complaint. I, th- oh, yeah, go I ahead. think Hatsukoi actually looks kind of cheap in comparison because it's like two sets, like one that one big dance scene and then like some random house. Oh, it's you know the house what? and outside yeah. the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the house be- and the house parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, yeah. because um, it, for for me Hatsukoi and like acting tough are like connected. Yeah, and yeah. that I guess acting tough has like more of a. More more sets. It's one line. Well, it's a bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one. Well, like you think of it, that's like one long video. Yeah. And it's like okay, yeah. Then yeah, it makes it works. Uh, I, I guess actually, what I do hate about this video is all the like backlighting and like lens flares. <laughs> yes. Because they ha- they, they shoot they, it with the window like, the like behind it, and you have the thing. sun. Yeah. Yeah, but then there's parts yeah where it's like super washed out and white. It's, so I, I was on top of the you, white backgrounds, white costumes. It's just like I, I'm blinded. The white. I was telling you right, like uh, there was a shot with Mikana w- w- wearing the white he outfit, came right? see- and then like the background <laughs> light, and it's like oh my god, <laughs> she, she she's uh, she's Can't blending flush. into the whole thing. It's like a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I think white with Mikana that just doesn't work. Wasn't it? Was it a, was it, I think it was one of, the, one of the online calls where they had turned off the lights so that Mikana would actually show up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I so. I remember one of the online calls I did where like, the lights were off. And everyone else was annoyingly dark. 
Yeah. <laughs> but Mikana was completely fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, then let's move to the next song, Ichiban yeah. Skinahana. Uh, isn't which is oh I thought you were gonna go with uh, Butaman. No, no, we're going going in uh, chronological order. Okay. And by chronological, I mean not chronological. I think uh, the Tabu Tai Song actually was revealed first, but in in chronological, as in my my head canon chronological. <laughs> Ichiban Skinahana, yeah. uh, just grad song. Yeah. Very I mean, generic. It's, it's, it's a generic grad song. song. Yeah. yeah. It's like ah okay, so it's like ooh please cry. The song yeah. really drags on because it's mm-hmm. like doesn't really it's, so slow. It's really slow. It doesn't and really long. I mean, apparently, <laughs> apparently, like her dogs appeared in the music video, but I didn't even yeah. notice because I like <laughs> it was so long. I, I think I dozed <laughs> off halfway through. <laughs> so the only thing that I remember about this song is, is her dress from the concert. In the concert, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Like the the Kobayashi the Sachiko dress, yeah. So I, I I cannot I cannot disassociate the song from that scene anymore. So yeah, I think that's about it for Ichiban Ski- <laughs> Skinahana. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about it's too long, it's too never, slow. It's a ballad song. It's never gonna be performed ever again. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Next in uh, Kukuhaku no Kuho. Best song. Uh, this is a Tebotai song. Yeah, I mean, I, I I just told you guys right. Like I I thought it was a very um like anime op song. Like you could. I can imagine, like you know, some shonen character like running and like running towards the ocean or something, and then <laughs> well, in the, in the punching like, guys along the way, <laughs> yeah, punching guys jumping, all the way. jumping on buildings. cars and shit, right? In, yeah. In the music video, there is a scene of them all running towards the rooftop of the building. Yeah, and then See? and then Miki like waves a giant flag that says NMB guns. <laughs> <laughs> so Tepota is now NMB guns, right? Yeah, NMB guns. <laughs> Because it's like the like the translated title like in be gun core or whatever yeah, gun corpse. Uh, I also like the music video. <laughs> they have like the gender reveal players for some reason. <laughs> well, that's like, gonna cause a forest like, fire. And blue flares, yeah, gonna cause a forest fire inside his building, his office building. <laughs> it's like so random. Why do they have? I, I guess like oh, it's. Some cool effect, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's like... it would have been better too if like the flares actually matched their colors, right? But it didn't. No, it was yeah. just pink and blue. <laughs> yeah, it's like, sorry guys, these were all the flares you could buy. Because the whole market for flares is taken over by gen- by, by gender reveals. <laughs> Like I, I think I think the idea was like they would give them all like individual colors, right? And they would all have like you know the colored flares, and then like you know they could only buy blue and pink because fucking gender reveals. Yeah, yeah. Um, I say yeah, I like the song. It's it's good enough. I think this also has this addresses like the point that you had with uh, uh Quinn Nakano, thank you, where it actually has like kind of like, you know woke to call segments. So yeah. You have, like the repeat parts in the chorus, which is like nice. It's very it's it's catchy enough. It's good enough. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not the nightmare hellscape you were envisioning that this song was going to be because it had Miki as a center. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still a nightmare hellscape, so let, let's not let's not um, over over. You, you just watched Chihi the whole time, and it's not a hellscape. You just watch walk, walk up on the whole time. No, then I fall asleep. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, in the pantheon of like the Potai songs, it's probably like. Mid tier, yeah, or... middle of the pack. I mean, there's some some really shit Tepotai songs though, so uh, I can't say that this is bottom tier, but you know, I, it's not it's not like the best one. Yeah, I I, don't know, I thought they would go for another very like youthful and refreshing song with the whole. Oh, I I I, I was fucking happy they didn't. Yeah, I mean, cause Be I weird. mean, they obviously decide the song before the members were decided, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I thought they were because they were pushing the whole election thing as like, oh, the next generation of NMB, they would have done that. But I mean, like, uh, I mean, uh, uh, not not to get into the stupid rankings thing, but I I think um, every time that there's been a bad Tepotai song, it's been like that one, like the oh, we are young and fresh. Mm-hmm. So. I'm you saying you don't you go. you don't like Zen no no growing up? No, it's very shit. You don't like. I think that's, that's like second right. worst of the second worst. You don't, worst you don't, you don't like. Right. You don't fine. like Nietzsche Senpai. 
I actually like Nietzsche Senpai though. I actually like Nietzsche Senpai, but it's not it's not it's not like Zenryoko going up. Zenryoko is garbage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, Hinadan is garbage too. So <laughs> see, and I'm being very objective there because uh, Yuri is part of the Hinadan Senbatsu. But I blame the center. <laughs> Yeah, okay, moving okay. on. Okay, moving on. Okay, uh, We're just, next like, song. you know, slagging on all of these songs. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's, like, not a, not the strongest. Well, I was going to say, it's not the strongest single until we get to this one. I Love Butamon. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> this, this, this is... Okay, I, I'm going to put it out there. This is the best song in the whole pack. Uh, Hot I want, take. Well, maybe, Hot but... Hot juicy. It's, it's a, it's a week. Butamon, pork bun take. It's a, it's a week. It's a week single anyway. So, yeah. like, that's not saying... It's like saying, yeah. like, you're the tallest midget. I mean, it's a joke. It's <laughs> okay. a joke. It's a joke song. Just like all the ones you like. Yeah. <laughs> like Water Tuppy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean... I, well, it's catchy. It's it's like this is literally like you know you're. Yeah, I was gonna like, say like if it wasn't about Butaman, like it could it could have turned into a good song, I think. But because Butaman is kind of like tied to this, and it's gonna be also like be never played ever. Yeah, I mean, uh, as Maybe soon as, as like gag. the five five one contract ends, like we're never <laughs> hearing this song ever again. And I can't wait to get the the Poncho contract song without <laughs> 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 a card sender. <laughs> one day, one day. I love spaghetti. <laughs> I love ketchup Napolitan. <laughs> uh but yeah, the song is just really catchy, it's fun to listen to. Um also fun fact, I had Gogoichi for the first time when we were in Osaka. <laughs> How did you like it? I like it a lot. It was like my I like well it's actually surprising it's like so it's both really good and also like reasonably priced. Super cheap, right? Super cheap, and then like for what you get, it's like amazing. It's like 150 like, yen for one piece or something crazy. Okay, like you that. have to get like two or whatever, right? You have to get a pack of two. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got like, I got the two pork buns. And I got a pack of shumai. Uh, which one did you get? Did you get the shrimp shumai or just a normal I get regular one? shrimp. I get regular. Oh, you I don't should have shrimp. gotten the shrimp ones much much oh, better. Nah, it was fine though. Uh, but I was surprised the meat bun, but the pork bun because it's like really juicy. Yeah. And the amount inside is like like it's high volume of pork and meat which usually i don't get these whenever i have these like buns uh because usually whenever i eat these buns i only get like this like the 7-eleven or you know family mart yeah. pizza buns well those are oh, the, garbage because I mean, ma- it's like a pizza pocket mass produced I mean, you shouldn't co- you shouldn't compare them to this though i know i mean, it's like my point of reference and i'm like oh wait, this is way better than that shit i've been pl- eating <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm i'm a believer but uh you can't buy it outside i, lo- I you can say i love gogoichi butamon yeah you can't buy it outside of Osaka, which is that, the that's the thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. I think when I like, posted a picture of, it, I think Craig I commented is like, you've, number of times you've been to Osaka, and you never had Goku Ichi. It's funny. Yeah, I guess it's true. Yeah. Like I just like I mean, just, I never. Well, I mean, either it's... like we're too busy. Like I'm in and out. I'm very like you know, I don't spend much time in Osaka. I'm there for the one purpose I'm there for, but because I had an extra time because of, like the calls. Actually, I went between calls. <laughs> I went to like the was it Daimaru, uh, yeah, and there's a Gokuichi in there. <laughs> Grabbed it, ran back before my next call. Uh, thoughts on this song, uh, Jeff? Uh, I mean, I only heard it, listened to, through it once, and it's just yeah, very bright and happy jingle. So musically, it's not going to be something I would listen to that much. Mm. That's fair. Music video is fun. Too, or not, it's not a music video it's just a, a video a special promotional video yeah that's the thing it's not it's not a music video it's like <laughs> it's, it's them like you know working promoting at... Gogoichi with, with the music uh, with the song as a backing track like make, yeah but you can see like the words on the side they're making the buns like, yeah, yeah making the buns selling the buns yeah. and then later you see him eat it and it's all like super oh man so good yeah anyway good song Best song in the whole pack. <laughs> Maybe you're just associating the meat buns with it, Matt, I think. <laughs> Both. I, no, because I had the bun before I heard the song. I didn't hear the song. There was a commercial, but it didn't really play. It wasn't that long. But, oh. I mean, it's good because Gogoichi is like one of, the, one of the biggest, like, well known souvenir foods you get in Osaka. Yeah. So having NMB <sighs> but, do a commercial is yeah. big. 
It is, yeah. I mean, uh, it's. Uh, I mean, I did we talk about this when it yeah, was announced yeah. I, uh, during briefly. the concert thing, right? Yeah, we talk about it briefly. But there, you go. Goichi is like one of the. It's like uh, if you think about Osaka, if you're in Japan, right? If you think about Osaka, you think like takoyaki, USJ, and uh, Gogoichi. Yeah. So. How, so it's it's you get it for souvenir, but like, it's like hot food, and like it says in the label, it's like good for like three days. They I'm have like, okay, they but... have ones that you can keep refrigerated for a like, few days. Yeah, okay. but they they actually don't recommend doing it though. Because it's not as good. Yeah, yeah, that's of true. Of course, but it's so, it's either have it's either that or have none when you're if you're not in Osaka. Yeah, yeah, it's basically yeah. It's it's why it's why it's really weird. It's because it's it's really really famous in like just one section of Japan. It's like In and Out. Yes, I guess so. They yeah. refuse like to In-N-Out except in except except that In and Out is disappointing though. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh man, you just pissed off all the the Californians. Californians. You don't ha- you don't understand the nostalgia. I know, but then Gogoichi doesn't need the nostalgia because it's actually good for the price. Anyways. All right. So yeah, and then let's move on to the team songs. Uh, so we got Team In. First song is called "Dancing High." Uh, I like the song. Yeah, I mean, oh, you have right. to be high to like it, I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted, I just wanted to get that joke in. Um, I, I thought it was very, um, uh, like, show tune. I, I, I was trying, I, I don't think it's called a show tune, though. It's like, you know, Vega show, like, I don't know, maybe it's just the horns. Like, it's very, no, like, that peppy. Was, that wasn't... Yeah, it's very peppy. Is that it. dancing high? Am I mixing them up? Yeah, it was dancing high. I keep on wanting to call it jumping high. I don't know. <laughs> Getting high. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, I always, it's, it's I, I, I always feel weird about like theme songs because you, you should never like you know judge it as you know high high expectations, right? Because it's always a lot of it is just very th- throwaway. Yeah, we mm. we don't even get a video this time. Yeah, there's I, been no videos for a yeah. while since uh, Boko Ekaire. Did Boko the, Ikaire not have videos? I it did. They did. It did. It was the it last did, one right? to have. Yeah, yeah, videos. yeah. Hatsukoi didn't have videos. Yeah. And, I, I mean, that's weird, though, because Hatsukoi, the reason, I mean, the reason that they didn't have videos for Hatsukoi is because they wanted to shoot Acting Tough, right? So, so it's they, Yuri's fault. Yes. So they did it for that. So, I mean, that's fine, whatever. That's for one single, right? The next one, Date Date Date, is, I, I, I thought the reason they didn't shoot music um theme videos is because of corona but like it seems no. like a lot of that stuff was like done pre like prime march yeah because they did the, they, they did the lapis arch song right they, it's that because, got them and the solos video. and the solo songs oh yeah so it's miru's fault <laughs> and, and side piece fault and side piece yeah because wait that they had wait, like four Saipi videos have a video no 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 if mm. didn't have a video miru had a video it was Date Date. Date 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 had Miru. three videos. And uh, Chao. Chao, yeah. So it's it was the same as... It's Lapis Arch's fault. Yeah, it's Lapis yes. Arch's fault. And Miru's yeah. fault. <laughs> so Hatsukoi only also had three videos, I think. It had four. What? Right. It, Hatsukoi acting tough. It had Danceable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Danceable. And then what's the other one? It was like a making of or... No, just three then. Okay, so yeah, maybe they are really cutting down. So this this time, this koi nanka no thank you, ichiban ski na hana, and butaman, butaman. Oh, there's and, four. And tepotai. Tepotai, butaman. yeah. So there's four. And tepotai. Well, I guess butaman doesn't count because it's sponsored. This is a weird it's pattern. Paid by Gogoichi. Yeah. So it's three. Oh man. Yeah. That's weird. Huh. New. Uh, the new. Brave New World. Sad New World. <laughs> so I, I'm assuming this is your favorite of the theme songs, right, Jeff? Yes. So sing its praises. <laughs> it's too short. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. I, I can see that. I, yeah. Honestly, I haven't listened to them all that much. Can't remember them all. <laughs> so you just like it for no reason, yes. basically. Yeah, I think I like this one the best. As well, of the team songs, it's really it's really fun and catchy. Um, it has like a good like you know, 
dancing high, 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 high. And that part is really good. It doesn't feel like an end song. That's the main thing. Yeah. It feels like it feels like could like be happy last time. It feels like they swapped places. Mm-hmm. But no, but, not really, because like Seishin Nembutsu shit too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's well, anyway, basically the the, the, the idea. So beat this could have been a B two song. I mean, sounds, both of them could have like been be happy. Happy. Like be happy. <laughs> so th- basically, there's no there's no end song in, in these three. Like the Tepotai song could have been an end song, I guess. As in, like you know, like a cool kind of like grounded, yeah, style song. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. We don't need to waste Team too much M. time on this. Team M. Uh, was this generic? Wagatomo Se- Yose I mean, I like it. Uh, I think out of all the theme songs, this is my favorite. And this is like high praise from me because I, I usually don't like Team M songs. But this this one feels the most Seishun. And, you know, sometimes you just want to Seishun it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so it, it checks it checks that box, I guess. You know, even though we did not... not Neither of us like grew up in Japan. <laughs> yeah, none of us. Yeah. So uh, I thought it was generic station yeah. song. It's okay. Yeah, it's kind of generic. I mean, it has kind of like a rockish. It's kind of started off as like a rockish song. Like, uh, I I had a note here. It sounds like a song the Hedgehog song at first <laughs> until the chorus rolling around and then it kind of dropped the ball and then it dropped the whole that whole idea. They always do that though. Like that pisses yeah. me off. It was like they have a good idea for a start, and then they just like, well, I still I need to extend this to four minutes, so you know, whatever, put that in. Just yeah. repeat this part and this part. But so they didn't even repeat that part. It just stopped doing that part. Feel <laughs> <laughs> like generic song. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a theme song. You can't really expect too much. So I like it. Hey, Jeff. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of generic to me because of the mm. whole, like, fake rock guitar sound. When they yeah. try to do the, like, rock sound, when idol groups try to do rock sounds, it just doesn't sound real to me. Yeah, it's, but it's really cheesy. I like to, like, I like to have them, like, go all the way with it. Like, it's, it's never going to be good, but I like to be cheesy rock. That's why I yeah. think, like, Sonic the Hedgehog rock is also really cheesy yeah. rock. Okay. Uh, okay, next, B2. Seishun, here's your Seishun song. Seishun and Butsu. <laughs> the thing is, though, it's not as Seishun as the other one. <laughs> yeah. Wagatomo yo and Ryoku de Heshitteru ka is like, feels so Seishun. It's like, you know, you can you can just imagine, like, you know, Miru running in a uniform, like, you know, like, a, um, like a, on a school setting. Okay, yeah. But, like, this one is, like... Like a weird, weird, <laughs> funky song. Yeah. yeah, it starts off and then it gets worse. <laughs> the thing is, it, it, <laughs> I, I, I kind I, of agree. I kind of agree, but I, like it didn't really I, start good anyway. <laughs> I, it started great because I had like the funky beat, and I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do this funky beat. And then the horn started playing, and it's these giant like fart horns. <laughs> and then it plays non-stop and it's like oh i hate this i hate everything about this so i told you guys it sounded like something that a morning musume would have sung in in the 90s and it's like it's so disappointing to me like why oh, why ah uh, i remember um the, there's this part that goes like nanamone, nanamone. It, there's a sound it sounds like this like 80s Japanese song that's about moving from the countryside to Tokyo and it's like <laughs> my town has no no electricity no TV and I'm gonna move to Tokyo and like live like a king so it has yeah like that weird like retro sound yeah I, I think mean... it's the worst I think it's the worst song in this uh, yeah worst song of, this, of the team um... songs I'm gonna say the whole pack so but... do you like this better than Skinahana? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's not what fair to Skinahana. <laughs> I mean, I have no quarrel with Skinahana. I mean, I, I think it does what it's set out to do. Yeah. So in, in that sense, it's a good song. I don't like it, but, you know. I think it achieves what it wanted to do. That's more than I can say for Seishun Nembutsu. 
Because I don't really know what Seishun Emboto wanted to do. <laughs> Burn your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. I, I think, yeah, overall, like, this whole package is, like, a step down. Compared to, like, last to da 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 days well, team songs, which I liked thing, a lot better. The thing, though, is, um, like, um, the, 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 the main single is very strong. Like, the, the cover, basically, uh, the main song is yeah. strong. So, I mean, it depends on how you want to judge these things, right? Yeah. So, do you want to judge the whole package, like, all the songs in it? So, like, for example, um, does which one count for What Other People or something yes. like that? That's why so, it's the best single. So... <laughs> <laughs> you get, you, it's the two, the two one-two punch. So, whichever single had, like, Sayane is probably, like, the worst single then. Probably. Which one was that? Was that probably... I don't know. It was like right? virginity or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I think it's Kitago Kenji. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the call, Kitagawa Kenji, I think, is like the best single because it has uh, I mean, Kitagawa one, Kenji one. and then uh, Hoshizora no Karavan and uh, Rena Higa Itadoke and Fuyushogo no Regret. That's fucking oh, awesome. Wow, four really? songs. Yeah. It's all one single. But Boku Ikari has pom, 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 pom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't be that. <laughs> that carried, that carried Boko Ikaide. <laughs> <laughs> but also got dropped because of the, the Dugong song. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Uh, last part of the single is uh, one of the DVD, the DVD bonus. Uh, so it's Bunradi Jinro in Hirapa. Uh, yeah, did you watch it, this? I watched this, yes. Um, so it's like a half hour long like werewolf game thing but they did at the theme park uh here at the park they actually finished within half an hour you know they they, they cut through it and stuff you know <laughs> uh, actually they did actually kind of because it kind of extended over time uh actually how they did the 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 werewolf game though it was like uh the daytime segment or the nighttime segments is them playing around in the amusement park like riding like the merry-go-round riding the roller coaster whatever. Uh. and while like they were doing that like the the werewolf or like the the guard and the fortune teller would talk to Anchu and tell him what they were going to do. Oh, uh, okay. Like kind of like behind the scenes or whatever. So the, and you'd see shots of it happening as it happened. To to make it not so like slow and boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely cut around, edit around. Um, but it's definitely if you watch any of the werewolf streams, it's very. Yeah. That's what you expect to kind of explain it briefly. Uh. They also have kind of a prize at stake, so uh, you either the human team or the werewolf team plus madman team. Uh, whoever won would get this like all you can eat like cookies and sweets, <laughs> like kind of like the things that they sell at the amusement park. Uh-huh. That's what the win- the winning team got to eat those. Yeah, I haven't watched it, but like the members said, like they everyone ended up crying over it or something. So I'm... yeah, because they had to go on like the super drop. Uh, spoiler spoilers. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> but I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Cause, it's cause fun. The, yeah, the Date feeling couple last time was really good. Yeah, this is a little not quite. It's a little different from that, but uh, fun. Actually, Anchu like has some pretty good moments. As, like, I thought, host. I thought that the feeling couple was like super awkward, though. Didn't you think so? Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's that was the point because it's mostly yeah. young members like trying to get close to each other. Yeah. yeah. Plus you and you me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was just kind of like the butt of the joke the whole time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I might try to sub that after I finish up the Tim Van Richard Dockery thing. If once I get a file, Cause I tried ripping it, but in my like, uh, like ripping software is like not be working. We'll find out. We'll get. We'll get yeah, used. Probably get Ahu or someone to help you. Yeah, I think yes, it is on Idolu. Anyway, yeah. Check that out. If you get Type C, that's the only one I bought. I actually bought the single. Oh yeah, should have bought Type B because that has the official cover. Type C has a good cover though on it. That's <laughs> the one that has Harakarn on it and Wakabon on and it. Chief. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's gonna do it for Koinakano. Thank you. Let's talk about some news. So our graduation streak is. We're, this is another mulligan month, hypothetically. Um, that's because we have two hiatuses. Well, ha- one and a half hiatuses, really. Uh, I, mean, so first I, don't, up, I don't think I don't think Hinacho counts as hiatus. She just got sick. 
Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Okay, it, was one, like one a, it was a week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a week. It was literally in his Except like it was, week, it was the which it was really the bad worst, timing. Yeah, worst <laughs> possible. anniversary time. week. Yeah, so he and Acho, uh, like, yeah, went on like, a really short break, like, a couple days before Tiff anniversary concerts. Yeah. I think we talked about that already in, like, the concert report. You can see that. But, like, yeah, like, Mira, Mirai uh, take her spot for a tempo tie and stuff. Yeah. So just, just got sick and came back. Yeah, I mean, she was gone for like a week, and it was like uh, just for tenth anniversary, basically, and then she just yeah. came back for like some random event. Uh, yeah, with, she was like, fine for the tempo tie stage for jump ahead of that, but yeah, she was fine for tempo tie first stage. Yeah, and then like got sick like the day, next day or the day after. Yeah, it's so just really unfortunate timing. So I wonder if management is not happy about that. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not her fault really, because the members had three weeks to rehearse for three concerts they were all plus all this uh, other dumb the, crap yeah and Hinecho also had the stage on top of that yeah so all the members were that entire time were saying like they were so exhausted all they did was like practice and sleep mm-hmm. uh, okay so then we have our other hiatus member uh so hasa minami hasa has been on break since uh, let's say I want to say what like a week after, I want to say like maybe the week after the last podcast, maybe the last proper podcast. Yeah, it was. It was like early October. Yeah. Or second or third week of October. It was after after the like showroom thing ended. Yeah, after the showroom f- thing finished, after the the single like Simbatsu was revealed, and it's like we were all wondering, oh, she got dropped from Simbatsu because you know management doing their their fuckery. Yeah. Um, but maybe now I, we know. I still oh, think that's possible, though. It's still possible. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. But maybe also she was like talking about like taking a break yeah. know, early on, so maybe that's just. <clears throat> well, I mean, we know yeah. that because she and she and Sad Haru basically sat out of the showroom thing because they found out they were dropped from Senbatsu. Mm. Well, that was Sad Haru. It wasn't um, Hasa. Though. Well, not I, explicitly, we... but it's with the timing. It's probably. So, so the thing with Hasa is like it's a, it was a chicken and egg thing, right? But with Sadaharu, she actually admitted it that you know she she uh, she couldn't you know bear to do the showroom thing anymore because she she found out she was dropped from Senbatsu. Mm-hmm. But with Hasa, we don't know if she was dropped from she she didn't do the showroom thing because she dropped from Senbatsu, or you know she was already sick and That's she w- just true. wanted to stop. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I ho- like, like these things are always very hard, right? Because they don't really give us like information on what's really happening. So is she yes. sick, or is it, uh, or so you don't even know if it's like you know depression or actual an actual an injury, right? Mm-hmm. So it's hard. It's really hard. It's hard to speculate. And, and especially in Japan, they're not gonna admit that like there's some problem yeah, with depression not, or something. Yeah, not like yeah, mental health is definitely like not treated very well in Japan. Yeah, so they're just gonna say like, I mean, it's gonna be like Taicho for you, right? Like, oh, yeah. is she sick? I go, oh, well, not what what well. is she sick with? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, not Corona though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like when that, you say that. <laughs> nowadays, you have to be careful. Like, oh, nope. Uh, so with, with the Hinacho thing, right? Like, oh, uh, Namba Hinata is sick, so she's not going to be in the concert. But, you know, she t- she took a PCR test, so she's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the same thing happened with Koji. Like, she like, had to take a day off, like, the day before the concert, or two days before yeah. the concert. Yeah. That's just, I think, just exhaustion. Yeah. So, yeah. I think, I, because, like, um, fucking NMB is so weird, too. Like, they have, they have, like, three concerts, right? And then they don't start rehearsals until, like, a week before. Mm-hmm. And then, like, everyone's, like, you know, oh, and everyone's, like, crying because it's so hard. They have to remember, like, you know, 50 songs or something. And why don't you start, like, you know, three weeks before? Yeah. That's too much Dude, too much rent to pay for the practice. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, well, I guess it's, that's also why we saw, like, you know, uh, water key, like, three times and uh, station lap time, like, three times or whatever. We saw so many of the same songs being played over and over again across three concerts. 
so at least they could like cut out, cut cut down on like all the songs they have to yeah. really memorize. I think uh, like us as fans, right? Like we we do take for granted like us watching a concert. It's like oh, this is like you know uh, like Rush Kanai. I'm not a fan of Rush Kanai. Fuck this. <laughs> But they had to study it. They had Channeling to it. me yeah, <laughs> right <I know>. now. <laughs> I actually really like Rashkanai, so fuck you, man. You don't like it? Wow. <laughs> it's eh, it's like that. It's like if we're going to ranking, uh, because is this better than uh, Koi Nakano? Thank you. Uh, it's better than Koi Nakano. Thank you, but not by much. It's in the C the C tier. <laughs> C for crap. <laughs> That's like Asian Asian grading Asian parent. Grading. Yep. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess uh, Hasa, hopefully she gets better soon. Uh, maybe, I think Mikana has a similar situation where, again, she went on break and then she was also dropped from Simbatsu. But it was like the opposite order. Uh, maybe when uh, Hasa comes back, she can you know, feel better. Go viral again. Go viral <laughs> again and become, uh, you know, get in Simbatsu again. I think, yeah. I think so, uh, when Hasa comes back, she's going to get back into Simbatsu. Like, Especially because there, we have no... like two vacancies. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> and let's, well, let's actually, those two sure they, they they go back to sixteen. Yes. Let's just make sure that like Miki's not one of them. Mm. Might be Sadharu too. Or Hiancho. <laughs> Shout out to Smile. Okay, Smile Don. <laughs> <laughs> no, if Smile Don was here, he's gonna be like, "Oh, next center is gonna be Hinacho. Yeah. Uh, okay, but like, I guess on the topic of like, uh, like pietuses and like kind of you know mental breakdowns and stuff kind of go on my little soapbox for this episode the anchu soapbox <laughs> what the hell is up this with is anchu? The minute. what the hell is up with anchu like this past week or so she's just been really weird and not like you know weird anchu like you know because anchu's always weird right like yeah. crazy weird no she's been like weird depressed and emo and basically going on twitter telling people like Hey, uh, if you're using like my image or videos without my permission, don't and please delete it. Getting really like like you know DMCA <laughs> about shit right now. Take down Twitch streams <laughs> for playing music out inside. And like, like, what's your deal? Like, I you can't, you can't even really ask her because you feel like she's like so unstable. You just like push her deeper into depression if you try to like address it, right? Or try to reason with her. Like I. I, 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 I asked you guys yesterday like I had the exact same idea I had the exact same thought Matt like what the fuck is wrong with her like not not in a like you know like you know get get your get a hold of yourself woman way more, more like you know like, like oh, destructive shit. Yeah, kind she, of like she, she trying really to like, needs help what the hell like she's trying to kill her fan fan base kind of like I'm trying to like yeah it's like, like what you do like when you're trying to like go full hikikomori you know or like you know cut off people from your life yeah it's like yeah it was it's super destructive like i have no idea what she f- hopes to accomplish by it because like saying telling everyone like you know don't distribute my images online or something like what the fuck yeah if, uh, are you kanye now <laughs> <laughs> yeah or like or, yeah, beyonce or, get that shit off or the johnny's or something yeah. yeah, but like she, the fans. I saw fans directly replying to her saying like, "Oh, some of us want to make like uh, pictures to advertise your uh, your online calls so that more people will buy them, but then we can't yeah. use your images or something." So, yeah. So, like, she's like yeah. actively sabotaging her efforts to like get more sales and into senbatsu. Yeah, unless this is like you know some like you know, alarm bells, you know the the Anchu graduation <laughs> alert is going off in my head right now. But it's always it's always going maybe, off. I, I maybe, forget to turn maybe it off. She's, maybe she's getting ready to quit. Like yeah. that's why she's doing this. Like, like and and like the other day, right? She started like posting crazy shit about like the matcha cookie video. <laughs> yeah, like that has like more way more views than any of her videos. Yeah, I think that's why she's and then upset she... about it. I think it is though. I think I think the reason she's upset in general is because she maybe like she was like watching YouTube, right? And then she found her matcha b- cookie video and she got like really upset that she's she's known for some weird outburst like that Dumb thing. and not like <laughs> yeah. her her gaming stuff. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Like like uh Yuri sometimes like before like she would get into those moods where she would like find something really embarrassing from like a long time ago and she just like go crazy about it mm. so maybe, maybe Anshu is the same thing 
something in the third gen water. <laughs> yeah, <it>. maybe. <laughs> Speaking of third gen, Matt. Well, well, we're not done talking about Anshu. Oh, we're, we're, okay. we're still talking about third gen, but not not moving on from Anshu yet. Uh, okay. Yeah, she is just really just killing like her whole like exposure. Because like, I do some stuff for her, like you know, like I'll like clip something, put it on the streamable, and share it with people, or like I put subtitles on something, kind of like you get people, hey, check out this funny girl who does plays games or does funny stuff. Yeah. So it's all about. Like, I'm trying. I feel like, oh man, I feel like I'm part of the problem. Yeah, even that's Andy, the thing. Even Andy right? like called me out. He's like, Matt doesn't even help. What does it talk to her about stupid video games and monsters? <laughs> <laughs> well, usually it's like you know, I can I can like, read the room. Like if you're not interested in that, then I I will stop talking about that. Yeah, it's, but like, if it, if she's like receptive to it, I'm like, okay, I'll keep on I doing mean, it or whatever. I mean, th- there are many other reasons we don't. There are things we don't know what's going on with her and like, but. It seems like she's still getting work and opportunities, right? She's doing the Zoom play, like, this weekend. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we should talk about that. Presumably soon. she was doing the rehearsals this whole week when she started feeling like this. And then she gets yeah. chosen as the MC for things like the Date Feeling Couple and the general game. Yeah, which, I mean, it's, I mean, it's more Disney, more of a senior... You know, senpai member to kind of lead that stuff, which would pay and like someone who can actually talk and like you know keep the have good like color commentary, which I think she does very really well. So I think that's probably why she's like that. But also I think it's kind of she picked for that, but not for Simbatsu, which is kind of maybe that's maybe where maybe uh, feeling some issues. But I don't think I don't think it's like an either or. I think it's just like she just fits that spot best. Feeling yeah, feeling used. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> not. A I mean, this is like better. This has been better for her. Like position wise, like this yeah, has been the best ever. she's be- ever been, right? Like, yeah. e- even if the actual reason why it's happening is because everyone uh, above her left. Yeah, but still, right? You stuck around long enough, you eventually get to top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no one else, you become number one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, like, I don't know why she's like. Basically, she's she is in, in, engaging in like you know sabotage. Self sabotage. I mean, I don't know, but the thing, the thing with Anshu, like everyone, like other members, always talk about this. It's like she, her her highs and lows are crazy. Yeah, like, extremes. Yeah. Yeah. She, when, when she's high, like she's, like you know, you don't really want to get, go near her because she's gonna like drag you into like stupid shit. Yep. And when she's low, you don't really want to go near her because you know she might get stabbed. You might get stabbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, like, even with, like, the whole matcha thing, right? Like, a lot of members just, you know, uh, brush it off as, like, yeah, it's whatever, it's Anchu. Yeah, like she, uh, yeah, she did a video about matcha cookie, and it, she got someone to send, give her a bunch of hot cookies. Like, it's kind of like a, they just mention it, and that's it, yeah. It's not, no, so that's not why she's known. I mean, usually when they talk about Anchu, they talk about, oh, yeah, she, like, she was, like, in a, she had her play troupe or theater troupe or whatever. So, yeah. it's kind of, uh, but I, I think... Know. Maybe just she's realizing her video output stuff isn't doing so well because all she does is playing Apex like once a week or twi- a few times a week and no she plays I, like five times a week Apex five times a week and I was watching uh, I watched she watched a stream before started recording and she had like only like eighty ish people in the chat oh that's yeah sucks um but then also a couple of days ago she did like the Momotaro uh, train game stream which just came out on Switch and it had like two hundred fifty almost three hundred people I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was part but of then so like uh, she yeah. she got like three she gets like 200 300 on YouTube and then she left that to go to go to Mildom and Mildom yeah 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 and that one has like less of a fan base yeah because it's more it's, it's more work and I also think maybe she just got tired of having like random guys just jump in the t- chat and talk to her in English or Spanish or whatever so maybe it's like because there's only Japanese people in this chat shout out to John Smith. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but yeah. So hopefully she's feeling better. She was like kind of screaming, like being her normal self in the stream earlier today. So yeah, maybe I mean, she's getting I, better. I don't know. I I I I really try to avoid like you know commenting about like you know mental health stuff because yeah. like to be perfectly honest, like we're not experts, right? I I don't I don't feel I don't feel qualified to you know even me- you know say anything about it. Because I have can't no even say idea. the word mental health. <laughs> Especially in Japan, right? You can't really yeah. say this shit. Yeah. And like yeah, you want to be you want to be like sensitive about like their problems, but yeah, yeah I don't know. Like I-, I wish someone would help her. Yeah. Uh yeah. But yeah, I think anyway, yeah, so she is like a third gen member. 
and they are doing a special stage for the third gens uh, later this week. Actually, I think a couple days, maybe a day or two after you hear this podcast, you'll, the stage will be happening. Yeah. Um, and just how so they've, done, they've done this a bunch of times, by the way, with second gen as where Saipi you know, announced grad. <laughs> <laughs> so now there's kind of like this, like this fear, like oh, third gen. And actually, I mean. I mean, a Anchu's like behavior is kind of alarming, but then also you have Anton, who I think, I mean, as I think Jeff said, like she already said, like, oh yeah, you want to definitely watch this. <laughs> she's all but like. said. I mean, she. Yeah. We don't know when she's announcing, but she has all but announced that she will graduate soon because she's twenty five, and then she said like her reason for not joining Tepotai was like because she's about to graduate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's coming. We don't we just don't know when. And I think I think um you can you, you'd probably like put a bet on it that Anton's someone announce her someone with there. someone with a in their name. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, Ant- a, I don't think I don't think gonna uh, announce graduation. I don't think so, but like Auka, <laughs> Auka, yeah, Auka. And Yuka too. Um. I mean, even like when the whole like like Anshu freaking out part was happening, people were commenting, "Oh, I'm worried about the the third gen stage." I mean, maybe that's just more and more worried about like her performance if she's gonna like. Yeah, you know, I think cause I think it's more of that. For it no, it's more another. of that rather than just announcing graduation because yeah. I don't know, like it, it, like Anshu is like really weird. Like you can't mm-hmm. really say like you know she she wants to quit yet or not. How old is Anshu? Twenty three. Twenty three. Oh, she still has two years. Same age as same as uh, Miru. So oh, okay. A year or two, probably. So uh, yeah, we, we have a year or two of her. I think. I but think yeah, I think it'll probably be on time if we're gonna I think if, so. Yeah, it's probably gonna be on time. It's pretty much that. I mean they could both announce grad at the same show as we <laughs> fucking <laughs> stupid. Or wouldn't wouldn't you know. that wouldn't that like uh put like Uka in like a weird position? <laughs> yep. like, uh... it's like, well no, because I'm gonna graduate all for him announce grad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't graduate because I can't like, one graduate first because I'm gonna graduate first. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do a three day special uh, live at Oryx Great. Oryx uh hall. It's not gonna happen. That's <laughs> no, not gonna happen. No. <laughs> I don't think even Uka is gonna get one. Like even if Uka mm-hmm. gets one, it's probably gonna be like you know Zep Tokyo or something. Even that, that's being generous. Yeah, and that's being generous to her. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, a third gen stage uh, is happening uh, uh, November twenty fourth. Yeah, it's like a day or two after you hear this podcast. Yeah. Or already. So watch it. Check it out. Uh, speaking of other stages, so we also also had some other special stages in, in the past month or so. Uh, yeah. First up is the Tepotai stage, which has originally was like the seven members of Tepotai Nine. <laughs> They've barely done it with the original members, though. So. Yeah, but now it's like a rotating. <laughs> they have like a rotating cast, like yeah. one or two members, like change it out every every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Except for Miki, though, she's she's not she's never gonna get. She's never she's never letting go of that center spot <laughs> till the day she dies. This is the feeder. Well, she's like the ultimate feeder girl, and this yeah. is the ultimate feeder stage. So yeah, I think there was like some statistics where I think uh, Miki is like the like um uh, like based on like uh, attendance percentage, she was number one. She's a hundred percent attendance. Oh, do you think she's on track for the theater Megami? <laughs> Um, this year, probably, this year. <laughs> because like it's it's always been uh, because the only stages you have are Tepotai stages. Yeah, unless unless uh, like a seventh gen starts subbing in for Tepotai, mm. like I don't think uh, anyone will beat uh, Miki for Theater in the Megami this yeah. year. Possibly, possibly Miracle. Oh she's, yeah, you know what? She's, Maybe, she's been, she's but she, she hasn't done side. she hasn't done other like there are no other stages though. That's yeah. a problem. <laughs> yeah, other than up till March. Yeah, February. It's gonna be really dumb if they announce if they give out the Theater in the Megami Award in the January show. It was gonna be like uh, so. Last year Reiko was like hundred sixty or something like that. This year it's gonna be like sixty. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if you count like appearances on like the you know the birthday show stage, yeah, that like, oh, you know like, what does that? Because like Reiko and Yuki soon have been like in a lot of those. I don't know. Huh. Good, good question. Uh, anyway, let's get back to Tepotai. Talk about the set list just briefly. Uh, 
I just a really weird set list. I don't really like most of the songs. That's my take. Uh, yeah. It's like one good song. Really the good first, song. The first time I watched it, I was like, why are there so many AKB songs? Yeah, I think it's kind of been an ongoing trend with recent stages. <laughs> Yeah. We'll talk, yeah, we'll talk about it. I more. mean, I guess they're, they're tired of, I mean, to be completely honest, right? Like, uh, the the member, like, we are NMB fans, but the members aren't necessarily NMB fans. Yeah. So, right. For Teppo Tai, they said the members chose, like, got together and chose them. Yeah. Um, it makes me question their taste. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's some obvious like fucking like Suzukake. What the? Well, fuck? That, that's that, that at least has some good reason. Miki's in it. That that's obvious. Yeah. And Imichi was in it. <laughs> Even that's that's not relevant, but <laughs> <laughs> she was number two. Yes. Yeah. And then like there's a few NMB songs that are good choices. I think like Pink Iro. Pink Iro. And Okuba. Man, Okuba yeah. shit. That's why I thought like that's why I thought like this song this is a bad set list on Pink Iro. <laughs> like, uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm not, we're, I'm not, we're song not, of 2019. Okuba. No. Okuba is a sleeper pick for me. I I think I I I go back and forth with Okuba because um I personally like ballads so I kind of like it but I I I can't say it's a strong song. They they, they never perform it. Yeah, that's why it's it's super interesting for me to see it being performed. Yeah, because it, it's and like then, normally um, it's like just just that one song in the middle of the first album. <laughs> it's like surrounded by yeah. a lot of way better songs. <laughs> 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 Okuba is a is a Shirogumi song. What's what's the oh, what's is. uh what's its counterpart? Like there there must have been like is an awesome mate? counterpart. Is it Matemas? No, no, no. Or it would be ah, maybe it's like early, uh, yeah. sweet, sweet show or something like that. But Kesho? Uh no, no, not Kesho. Kesho ah. was white. Was white team. There, there's, there's like a, a set. Ah, it's a Eureka. Okay, so I think Eureka has like a very uh, dumb uh, combination. Ah, yeah, Bando Soft Cream. Yeah, that's shit too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but it has Todo Todo Todo. todo. So Eureka, Eureka has Todo Todo. So, and it has uh, Hinadan. Yeah, okay, it's pretty shit. <laughs> I, to- I like Toto though. Toto is great. I'm saying uh, gaining, Hinadan is gaining, shit. Okay, yeah. the gaining two song. Yeah. Anyway, uh... anyways, Okubas. Okay. Um, I thought they tried their best in like uh, um, uh, Enshutsu. What's 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 a good what's a good translation for Enshutsu? Ja? Like. For, uh, production gimmicks? gimmicks yeah production yeah production because uh, for example like candy right they had like actual candies yeah and me kind of tired of hearing that song <laughs> I've heard too much this year everybody everybody yeah everybody, everybody suck, suck. <laughs> yeah so I, I think I think um, so <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just my uh, my um, echo chamber right but I thought like um, like the most like the the thing that always gets played from this stage is like uh, Mikana like licking the candy in candy. Mm, yeah. yeah, there's like a zoom in on that, a close up of yeah. that. Yeah, and maybe it's like Ahu's fault because he has like a gif of it and then he, just, like, <laughs> he runs that Twitter it. account. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, flag. you should follow his Twitter account. Like whoever, NMB, I think it's like NMB flag, NMB G flag underscore. Is flag it called? Like, it's a very weird name. Like you should you should ask him to like change it to like a better name. Well, like, yeah, 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 something like that. But yeah, it's yeah. just like he posts like cool like gifs of like stuff. There's like the, the one he did for 10th anniversary was amazing. Where it was like, oh yeah, um, yeah, that's great. All the singles, like that. clips of the music videos. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, you should. Yeah, anyways, but um, yeah. he, he he keeps posting that. Um, <laughs> every, every show, right? He would post like uh, different, like basically different angles of like Mikana licking the lollipop. Because I I watched a lot of the shows and they usually zoom in on her. Yeah. <laughs> See the 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 cameraman knows what like people want. Yeah. But yeah, overall, uh, like, so I, I'm be completely honest. I only watched this show once, <laughs> and that was because like um, Su Chan just kept saying, like, "Oh, there's a yeah. major announcement tomorrow." Yeah. Blah blah blah. So okay, I'll fine. She's gonna announce graduation, so I have to watch it. I think I only watched it a couple times. Yeah. And... Uh... Uh, yeah, Yokobo okay. Mono, I think, is a good ish. Yeah, okay. Yeah, song. I think I think uh, Yokobo Mono is a good. I mean, Yokobo Mono itself is good. So, yeah. Uh, I think the encore songs are better than the main songs. Yeah, 
<laughs> what what the yeah. okay so <laughs> the only thing I, I i'm gonna say is i think starting with first rabbit is really weird i think I, it's a weird I choice I mean, it's but a good i like the song, song so it's i'm okay a, with it yeah it's a good song but i don't think i don't know i, I don't know I, it, it doesn't feel like something like you start a encore with uh, it, it has a hype like that. You have like the like the da, da, slow da. build up. <laughs> you have that slow build up with the about like the music box, and then it like blows up. And it has it, a and it's, like super it, hype. It has a like very obvious cheering part. Yeah, I thought it may. Uh, obviously, like this is pointless conversation. <laughs> but like you could have started with date 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 to like you know get the people hyped. I I guess. I guess, and also I think yeah, talking on uh, no Ringo is. Kind I actually of a weird feel one that like uh, first rabbit on. should. Be, yeah, I was gonna say I think first rabbit should end it rather than Takani no Ringo. Yeah, I think so. I should maybe switch those two around. Yeah, like, maybe Date Date first, Date Ringo, and then first rabbit. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that would have flowed better. Not not that any of us are pros at this, right? <laughs> 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 we, don't, we don't really know what what would actually work or not. But I don't think the members are pros at this either. So yeah, you know, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That. <laughs> And it was it was seven different members discussing it. Uh, this is the this is the danceable problem, right? Like they they seven of them uh, choreographed like one song. It became like some weird mess. Yeah, I w- is it? Wait, sorry, sorry. Does, does danceable have seven six. members? Six. Oh fuck. <laughs> I I always get that wrong. Who, who's the seventh member? Is it a? It, it's like it's like Quintet has like a, a secret fifth, fifth, member. fifth member, right? So that's all a secret seventh member. It's like Koko Chan yep. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that's the Temple Tai Sage. Uh, I think this. I think actually on YouTube, if you catch on YouTube, there's like a digest, like collection mm-hmm. of like the some of the Temple Tai Sages yeah. from like They've been do- days. The NMB channel has been doing digests of mm-hmm. like every theater show recently. Yeah, theater shows, birthday show stuff. Yeah, we should talk about that. Like how 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 good like NMB. I mean, we should it has uh, been maybe good at with like posting videos. Maybe yeah. a different episode, but like uh, st- since the start of quarantine, right? Like they they've been like you know crazy. Like not crazy. <laughs> they've been like really really putting in a lot of effort in social media, which is awesome. So yeah, go 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 to the NMB channel on. Uh, YouTube and there, there's a lot of content there. Yeah, like start there's with, the first the with, first ten minutes of the the first ten minutes of the Loli concert got um got on uploaded. YouTube trending. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a big thing that we should probably talk about. Yeah, it's like that. It has like two hundred thirty thousand views now. Yeah, yeah. it's it really good. crazy. Should it it was because makes... of the icon, of course. Yeah, because it has to be kind of as a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Even they know how to do clickbait. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, let's move into the next uh, special stage here. This is the this is the this hot, hot this, this is, is the hot, hot out of the oven because we just watched this like before doing the, the podcast. Yeah, and this and is, is the main the ma- this is the main event of this episode. Mm, I don't know about we that. S- we spent an hour <laughs> talking about the single. <laughs> That's true. not talking about the last single, not even the single. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, Yoshida Akari presents uh, Will Be Idol, the 7th Gen Kinkyusei stage. Okay, let's talk about how dumb the name is. <laughs> and how no one can say it. <laughs> it's Misaki. So, it's except Misaki. Misaki. Yeah. Except Misaki. Yeah, we'll see, we'll they, need Misaki. they need Misaki in this stage, right? Just to be able to, like, fucking pronounce the name and, of the... And me, I wonder uh, if correct, Akari, like, and consulted. correct the title. I wonder if Akari, like, consulted with her. It's like, how do you say this? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because you guys are Americans. Like, I usually have no problem with English because mm. I just, I just like box it uh, as like some other thing rather than actually English. You get what I mean? Yeah, I think that they use English as like to look trendy or whatever, right? It's, yeah, it's yeah, right. I, 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 I never, go-to. I never get like, I never get like that offended with English because it's just like ah, whatever. I'm just amused by it, and then like, especially if it's like done wrong. It's I mean, weird. the thing is, like, this one isn't even wrong, wrong. It's just weird, but it's random. Yeah, but it, it, it's technically correct. Will be an idol. Oh no, wait, there is no article. There is no subject. 
who will be an idol? <laughs> I mean, it's it's will it's, it's kind of the Japanese thing, right? Where they skip the subject. Yeah. yeah. So they they don't realize that doesn't work in English. It's like yeah. idol ni naro, I guess. I don't know. Yes, that's what probably. Idol ni naru. Probably, idol ni naru she's probably something. just started from that and then tried to Google translate word by word or something. And she's like, I, I can only do three words. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I am idol. Would have been better. We are idols. <laughs> we are idol. Yeah, yeah. I think I. We yeah. we will idol. <laughs> no. <laughs> we will rock you. <laughs> the first. Even the like first I be song. idol would have worked. <laughs> Uh, I be idol would have been better. I I, I comma idol. <laughs> it's about I, <laughs> starring Will Smith. It's <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> the, the three laws of idols of idols. robotics. <laughs> idols can't harm humans. <laughs> well, I think it's ever too. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, what we all were looking forward to was the center or, or the, 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 the members, because they said members. only seven members would show up in this. The first so they day. didn't say that. It was a, it was speculation. This was a this was a leak from Ion. <laughs> Ion leaks. Yeah, well, no, because like uh, I think on her like Insta Live or something, she said like um, right now in NMB you can't have more than seven members in a stage. Save Everyone, for like the special well, yeah, like well, release day one where they had all, all Simbatsu do it. Yeah. yeah, if there's audience, you can only have seven. They, yeah. Do they have audience for that? No. For Which the one? Koinanka? No. Yeah, of course. No, they didn't. No? Oh, oh the, the the release day special one? No. They didn't. No. Okay. Spraying too okay. spraying too much aerosol in the theater. Ah, <laughs> Uh, because there's too many of them. I yeah. see. Okay. Anyway, so we, we, we the only thing we knew is that it's probably not gonna be like the full eleven seventh gens. And we knew which bottom one. Well, mo- we, we had a good idea. At least two, if not three, of the bottom ones were gonna not gonna be in this one. Did you like? Uh, okay, so I was pretty sure that um, like Misaki and like Koharu were not gonna make it. Yeah. But, I, saw her, I saw her Mobame earlier. She's like, "Oh, please uh, watch." Well, it's like it's like Doki Doki or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you shouldn't eat, shouldn't eat Doki Doki or whatever. But and so... they started talking about candy corn. <laughs> 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 like, I'm gonna change the subject. Let's talk about something. Okay, man, that should have been the that was that was part it. of her spoiler plate. <laughs> anyway, so, and then there's like um ten. So there's like nine left, right? Like, so I, I honestly was like uh, not sure like who of the nine. But then I, there were some members that there's I was There's a couple like, locks, probably. Like, I was definitely. sure there were going to be locks. Although one of them was not, apparently not. Nope. So. so let's just get through the list then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we have what? Zeon, Fua, IP, Yunana, uh, Mighty. Uh, Anju. Anju. Yeah. Damn it! Like, I was, I was, like, I was gonna say like, oh, it's really impressive that Matt was able to read all of their names. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Mew. Mew. Yeah. or Kaito, Mew. as you said. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's not, it looks like a boy's name. Yeah. <laughs> Those are your seven uh, starting members of the Akira yeah. stage. So when it started, though, I was like, I. It's like something wrong. Like, why the hell is Fuwa in the middle? But then it makes sense because she's so tall. So like, if you're gonna have, yeah, and I think I I said this like uh, when when Seven Gen got revealed. It's like if you're gonna have Fuwa there, she has to be in the middle <laughs> because it doesn't <laughs> make sense to have her anywhere else. It's off balance. Yeah, unless you have two members like stack on top of each other on one side. <laughs> <laughs> wearing, so Misaki and Dion, wearing, right? wearing, <laughs> wearing a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Try to buy liquor or cigarettes from the community. So yeah, so yeah, center four. Like I don't think anyone predicted this. Like, did any? Did did I? Either of you like thought it would have would have been possible? I mean, you had to see like the lit. I mean, if you saw who was in there. No, no, no. You have to look at the entire eleven. Probably yeah. Probably not. No. But then also, I think you put big, if you think now after okay, Akane she likes her the tall fashionable, girls. fashionable yeah. tall, tall girls, except for Hot Connor apparently. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, okay, I, that makes sense. In, in retrospect, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Because like, oh, it's Akane, she likes tall girls. 
Except Coconut's not tall. Coconut's just cute. cute, so it's okay. But she's cute, yeah, that's true. Either tall or cute. Pick one. <laughs> and not, what if it's and not, tall and not, and not a weirdo. And not a weirdo. So that's why Harakan's out of her favor. <laughs> I, so I was I was joking about this the other day when they did like the Akarin no Heya. Uh, no, not the Akarin no Heya. What was it? Like it was the, 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 the special, day. yeah, the, the release day thing, right? And like uh, it was Shinshin and Harakaren together. And it was like, oh, uh, Shinshin, oh, you should, you know, go into fashion. I think you're, you you can be like Joshiroku or whatever. And then Harakaren's like, oh, what about me? It's like, oh, you have boobs. Why don't you just do Gravier? <laughs> mm. I feel like that's very bad for Harakaren because she's like, like fashion and, and like makeup stuff. That's like her passion. Actually, that's like what she's interested in. Yeah, but like Akarin's not interested so, in her. So, so if so. yeah, if the the queen herself is not giving her not giving uh, the blessing, blessing. yeah, not yeah. giving her blessing. <laughs> then like, oh man, this, this that doesn't bode well for Harakan. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess yeah, Akarin has a type. I think like she likes you know pale girls, <laughs> tall and pale. Yeah. Anyways, so for. Um. Yeah, I, I'm I, happy I, for her. She's yeah in the the running for second favorite. Though Zeon did steal, did like start edging closer to like my favoritism because my of this show. Yeah, because she's, like she, everything she's else, she's very she's very cute, and she's like I think I said in Discord that she's like maybe the coconut of this batch. Uh, I don't the know. Whole, like first time, leak, first time, first time I saw, first time I saw Coconut, I was like, "Oh, she's this is this she's very very cute, and she's gonna grow up to be very cute." That's true. I I don't get that feeling with Zion. I I think more she's more like uh, she she's gonna grow up to be pretty, mm, okay. rather than cute. Although, like her, her how she speaks though, like I don't know if you speak Japanese. Um, I, I I was mentioning this in Discord. No no one was um, biting, but I, I think she. Speaks... <laughs> I don't think anyone could know what he'll go <laughs> Yeah, that's true. She speaks a very very rough form of uh, Kansai Ben. Like it's like uh, the Kansai Ben that like Yakuza speak. I didn't notice. I haven't heard her speak enough. Yeah, if you listen, I mean, I only listened to her. I I only heard her speak in this uh, in the Stage. MCs and stuff. But she, she she sounds exactly like Joy Rico. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> She's gonna graduate and then come back after a year. Come back, yeah. She's gonna be sent to and get caught with her brother slash boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, so back to seventh gen. Um Yeah, I think I think um um Fuwa looked great as a center. I think um I mentioned this in the Discord. I think um, she achieved exactly what a center should, should do, do, which yeah. is you know uh, basically like pull your eyes towards her because mm-hmm. she's the center. Mm-hmm. So this is through DMM, right? So I don't know if I'm actually inside the theater, what's going to happen. But I think it was. Um, I think watching it uh, from home, it was. Uh, it, she's she was very successful as a center because like she st- stands out of obviously because of the height, but. Even then, right? Like, there's like still like something. Like she, she was, you know, like the performance was good, and you know she was center, and you know, okay, this girl is the center. Even on Y and N, when I was watching in that tiny like, uh, like posted stamp size window of the stream, I was also drawn to her because of the height. <laughs> well, yeah, just just her presence and everything, <laughs> which is the same as the DMM stream, I think, anyway. Yeah. Wait, is it was it the same stream? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the but same stream. But they were ahead, or like thirty seconds ahead of DMM. They, they had the direct uh, line to DMM okay. rather than using the actual DMM feed. Mm. Um, yeah. What 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 do we think about the other positions? Um, Un- like the second and third was like Anju, Anju and Mighty. Yeah, that sucks. Top three. <laughs> Top three. So I, I read something. I read something about like. Uh, uh, Akarin chose like the top three tallest girls for uh for the top three basically. Mm. I mean, she didn't it's like she didn't say that was her reason. Mo Chan had no chance. No, no, she didn't say that, but it it turned out that way. I mean, Anju was really good in like dancing and also like facial expressions. Like Uka and Yumin were praising her the whole time for that. 
Yeah, and, and as I said, that's a kiss of death. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, um, we have to see, right? Like, I, 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 I had a very similar reaction to when Kojirin started to Anju. It was like, oh, it's like Forever Theater Girl. Now she's captain. And you know, now she's Kojir, captain. Kojirin proved me wrong. So yep. yeah, I mean, it, it's it, they just started, right? Like, uh, it, it, these are like super hot takey, right? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, in in general, I never I never followed Kenkise so much like this because I always like to give them time and not judge them based on just like a, their blogs or like the Shonichi or the documentary. But then I. I'm only following them more closely than I usually do now because everyone talks about it in the Discord. So <laughs> <laughs> you have to, we have to like find it through all of like smile on screen and Hina Cho. Dig for that much, but yeah. I mean, it is fun to see them like grow and change, um, but yeah, I don't want I, I don't, don't want to pick favorites yet. I think that's the, that's the 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 beauty of like following idols though is like watching them from like sucking to you know being like good performers okay yeah. i guess yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's part of it yeah i mean obviously like some people it's not it's not your thing right so whatever but like a lot of people like it so like matt, matt for example like if if misaki one day like you know gets a center for a unit or something maybe matt's gonna fucking cry because <laughs> like oh like he, she she used to not even i, I remember in that anniversary when she like fucking like ran Sucked. across the stage to, <laughs> <laughs> to get back to her position and now now she's like centering a unit yeah yeah, St- I mean, it wasn't like, like the same right? with like Kokona or even like yeah. Or so if you follow or... if you followed them from the start, right? Like um, um, like Kokona was not uh, uh we, not we can talk good. about this during the about the girls who didn't make it, but yeah, like yeah, not not making it the first day doesn't really it's not the end of the world. So are, are we, should we talk about the? Yeah, do we have more to the... talk about for or the stage, or do we move on to like the girls who didn't make it? Uh I'll say that Mew has a weird voice, weird singing voice. I noticed that in the Tonari No Banana. Yeah, you know what? Like, I I think I don't know. Like, uh, my, my predictions are never never hit anyway. But I don't think Mew is gonna be as big of a deal as people think, based on it's, watching her today. It's just a loud minority from Andy <laughs> <laughs> and all the thir- I mean, all the thirsty people buying her online call. Yeah, exactly. So, and and I mean that's fine, right? Like she she will she will do well for now. But then I feel like she's gonna hit a wall somewhere, and then that's gonna be it. Probably. I mean, maybe like it, besides Gra- Gravure, they won't have avenues to promote her well because she really doesn't seem like she had great stage presence and like yeah, MC and like performance skills the th- that's the thing though she's like 23 years yeah, old and, she, and like Z- zion was a better mc than yeah, her and she's been a chica idol before too yeah yeah so then i was i was really disappointed like i was expecting her to be able to carry the the rest of the girls but right. yeah i mean it's the first day right like i have to keep caveating that it's the first day you know people are gonna improve but Considering how old she is, like you know, you, you kind of expect more. <laughs> Should be better. You've had this long to do it, <laughs> or whatever. I mean, she's ten yeah. years older than Zion. Yeah, and um, yeah, and uh, justice for IP. Yeah, IP is cute. Yeah, but, but she I've was come like around on her sixth, recently. sixth or seventh position. Yeah, I think come. I think she's gonna be more like the the Machun like Maokyun type, where it's like she's she's very. She she has a weird voice. Number one, she's like very really yeah. bon. The voice is very really yeah. bon, and um. And then she's also like otaku. Otaku, yeah, it's funny. Otaku. It's funny girl. She, yeah. she mentioned like when the MC she, like she started following NMB for like she was nine years old. Nine years old for nine and a half years. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's imp- impressive, right? But she said like she's never won a theater show because <laughs> she only applied for Sayaka. Yeah, she, because she only applies for Sayaka. And, and you like, mentioned it's... that little story in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell the podcast your story. 
Oh, um, like when I first start, I, I, so when when IP said the that she's never won a theater show, right? I, I was telling people in the Discord that um, when I first started following NMB, I would only apply to shows with Sayaka in it because I only knew Sayaka. I lived in Osaka, and I, I, I there's this like forty eight right forty eight group there is NMB, and then I only knew Sayaka, so I would only apply to Sayaka shows. And I would never win at all. It was like a year. I remember this. Like I, I spent a year applying, and then I would never win. And then this one day, this is pre. Mm-hmm. This is pre Gaijin Block too, right? Yeah, this is pre. Yeah, this was this is when <laughs> this is when my account still worked. So um, I would. I think the last straw was um, uh, Nana and Yui Han's like last show for Team N. It was like. I applied for that and I, I still lost. There's like, no oh, way you're gonna get that. <laughs> I know, but I didn't I I didn't understand how that worked, right? Like I I just kept applying for like all Sayaka shows and then they all oh, fuck why can't why can't I win? And then and then like the next show was like a B two show and it's applied for that and then I won. <laughs> and that's how you that's how you discovered Yuri? Or was that before Yuri? No, that was Yuri, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that was it, yeah. So you can thank Sayaka. <laughs> <laughs> Saya Yuri forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think um, for performance wise, um, I thought like the 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 ones who were really good. I mean, the ones that I noticed were good was um, Yunana and mm-hmm. IP. Actually, no, not maybe not IP. Maybe because IP, I just kind of like her in general. But I think like a like the good dancer was like uh, Yunana. Uh, I thought Yunana was like very smiley and ginky, but her, her dancing wasn't like particularly amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I think I just like I like listening to Yunana talk. Why? <laughs> I don't. Know, she just sounds like she's really entertaining. Like she could entertain you for a long time. <laughs> like what, because she she attitude. seems all really happy, right? Yeah. Like, ginky. Yeah. Like, if I. Look more into her. I probably would buy tickets for her too. So, <laughs> so be, be, care- be careful, Matt. Yeah, falling deeper into my my details. So I, I was Double. I was telling I was telling the people in the Discord, right? Like, um, you should have gotten like Fua tickets before this show, which I did. Yeah, because now what? now you're not going to be able to get Fua she tickets. She only had like she only had like one slot left. I want to say before or like in yeah. December at least. Yeah, so next next round she's probably going to sell out. Mhm. Because she sent her. Okay, so, so then let's talk about the 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 left the the cut, the, the sad cuts. parts. So well, who got dropped was as expected uh, Misaki Kohata and, and I guess the the surprise I like, Wakanyan, I guess. Yeah. Kind of shrug. But yeah. Yeah, and then Mochan and then was like the biggest surprise. Like, surprise. holy shit! The upset. She's like three slots. She goes to show you that sales aren't everything. I mean, it goes to show you that Akarin doesn't give a shit about sales. <laughs> or Akira Sensei. Yeah. That's who, yeah. Yeah. Or Akira doesn't. Yeah. Like mm. I don't know. I I I thought like obviously like I don't we don't know how how it goes in the 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 rehearsals and the audition and all that. Like if you that, watch right? the documentary though, I guess like one the recent one that's on YouTube episode nine, I think. It's, yeah. Yeah. You see like yeah. Akira like yelling at Mochan because she's kind of like standing in the wrong spot. Yep. Yeah, she talked about that in her mobile. Man, she's like, "Yeah, I, I, I'm trying hard not to make mistakes." Blah blah blah. And yeah, I mean, I still think that she's gonna be the star of Seventh Gen, but this was like a big stumble on her part. Yeah, I made a wake up call. I hope so. Nah, not sure, wake up call, but yeah, it's more like yeah. I mean, it, it's good. I mean. Watching if, this, that right, and you, you can you can say that okay, at least NMB has standards, and they will never never deviate from them. It's like when Riripon was like really really famous back like back then, but she couldn't dance, so she was like, "Nope, we're, you're not gonna go on stage." She, she got did she get pulled off like halfway through a stage or maybe? yeah, no, halfway through a concert. Oh yeah, that that was how bad it it got, but like. Um, yeah, as Which I ca- we kind of alluded to earlier, right? Like, there's like a, a a list of like former centers who never got to uh, who who did not 
um, who was not part of the Shonichi members. Mm-hmm. So Yuri was not Shonichi for third gen, and Kokona was not Shonichi for fifth gen, and Suchan was literally the last person to who debut for six D three. And that's like I think when you're talking about like Mew like being like Chica Idol having Chica Idol experience is pen parallels to Suchan. Yeah, because she also had Chica Idol experiences, but also like couldn't dance or wasn't very good. So yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's the weird part too, right? Like when, when Su Chan first came out, people were like, yeah, you know, she's Chica Idol and she's definitely going to be like, you know, be able to dance. But like for some reason, they wouldn't like uh, have her appear in Yuminege until like the very, very end. I mean, I think that says more about Chica Idol standards. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's that's why like, so pe- a lot of people were like praising like Fuwa for like her Chica Idol videos because there there's like, a lot of videos of her on YouTube, by the way. And I, I, I remember watching it. It's like, oh my god, she sucks. I yeah. guess she's. I think she's gotten better. I guess. But yeah. So yeah, justice for Mo Chan because I think I think because she's really short. Um, Mo Chan and Wakanyan are the shortest members of Seventh Gen. Mm-hmm. So they got unlocked. I mean, Mi- Misa- Misaki's short too, right? Because she's no, she's actually she's pretty kind of tall, tall. Surprisingly, for a twelve-year-old. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, she's Maybe gonna she... she's gonna have like a huge growth spurt. Yeah. Oh my god! What if she go, grows to be as tall as Fuwa? <laughs> then to get double centers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the dream. <laughs> this is my like three years in the making dream scenario. Because Fuwa's sixteen it, right yeah. now. Yeah. So Misaki has three years to catch up. Yeah. I mean, she'll be turning thirteen in a couple like a month. So. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, I think, yeah. It's still a start, right? It's it's hard, as Jeff said. Like, I mean, it's fun to follow them, but you don't really know how it's gonna end up at the end. Like, as as like, well, except fifth gen. Fifth gen was very obvious, well, except for Kohona, I guess. But fifth gen had Ayan, and that was obvious. But sixth gen was like, you know, a mess. And D three, D three, like you know, Riona left. Cue the uh, emoji. Peace be upon her. Peace. Upon her. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I thought this stage was really good though. Like compared to Tepota. Yeah, we haven't talked about the the set list at all. Oh yeah. Let's speed okay. through that because it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, just pick something you liked or you liked out of this. Because generally, it I feel a lot of the same like with this with Tepota. Like not a whole lot of good songs some of the same songs yeah. too overall i think again way too many akb songs mm-hmm. but love shugyo at the beginning i used to love that song because it i did well i didn't know about the whole thing being like oh can't you say whatever but i i just plain like that song back then yeah for me uh i thought the I, I will talk about the units i guess because that's all people care about anyway um i thought end roll was a good idea and they you were complaining like, about that one the whole time. Like, yeah. it's like this, what's this dance bullshit? <laughs> yeah, what's this, like, Anju Mighty Double Center or whatever? Yeah, I know. I mean, they're not going to be always center for that anyway. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the IP center eventually. <laughs> but, no, I mean, because, you know what? I, I'm praising Enroll because I saw the next one. You made a kiss me? Yeah, fuck that! Oh my god, <laughs> I was I was kind of like I was kind of excited in the end roll. Oh shit! Like um, Fuwa is gonna get a solo. Mm-hmm. So because like Tonari and Banana is two members, right? And then end roll was like four members, so we had six. So you only had one left. I was like, oh my god! Like Akarin's like you know going guns blazing. <laughs> like we were all predicting like uh, like possible solo song. Okay, it's gonna do. You know, Waruki, it was like oh Waruki do... or Yasaki's. I I thought like Yasaki's Yasaki's would have been an awesome choice. Mm. I think I, she's already done. She that did it in her Chica yeah days. in her YouTube videos. Yeah, she just did a bunch of, like Milky songs. Yeah, I mean she really likes Milky, but I think I don't know. Maybe if I'm like NMB management, I don't want them to cheapen Yasaki's. Yeah, it's too late. Just keep it special, <laughs> or make I, uh, or people. Compare, AKB has already done that. People compare it to the YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was I was hoping like she she would do like a Mayuyu song, like you know Tokyo uh, Shinko Takemeki oh, yeah. or 
or whatever. What what's her other songs? I don't know. Like some, one one of her solo songs, right? Like it, Otona it, Jelly Bean. Oh, that's I, I actually like Otona Jelly Bean though. Like <laughs> people like I, so people don't remember top. it, but I like it. But it's just like you know, oh look at me, I'm cute. Like yeah. that's that's the whole point of the song, right? And like it's like, and then you start, and then oh my god, what the fuck? I mean, I think "You Made the Kiss Me" is a pretty good song. It's yeah, it's all right. No, but it's 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 we it's, just associate it's, it with it's, something. It's, yeah, it, no, I mean, I don't really <laughs> care that it's a Sakura song. It's more like I don't like it. It was like with Jeff's complaint about like AKB songs. It was like if you're gonna choose an AKB song, you're gonna choose a song I don't know. I can choose something iconic. Yeah, heavy like, rotation. Mushi no balad. Yeah, okay. Uh, if they did uh, that, uh, if they did that, who could possibly do yeah. Machina Ballad? If they did that, when Misaki, you know, we gets to do it for solo, she can do the Gotolala <laughs> English version that she did. Like, at, like I think it was re- some request. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing with picking all these f- famous AKB songs. There's so much baggage and, like, mm-hmm. on top of like it. Attachment, yeah. yeah. And expectations. Which I guess, like with with yeah. a produced stage like this, you use that to some advantage, right? Yeah, I mean that's the point, right? Like, why would you choose like completely unknown songs? Because people were gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like seventeen. What the hell is this song? Yeah, I didn't even know that was an AKB song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've heard it a few times. I think just because it ran it ran past. I, I I've never never heard like it. request hour probably or something. Yeah. Uh, as for what I liked. I like the, the the that medley they did at the end in the encore because they don't medleys are very rare. All the NMB songs, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like medleys they don't really do those that often. Uh they do. They do for NMB though. Okay. They they usually do like a single medley. Um, yeah. at the, I mean, they don't do it anymore, of course. Yeah. But yeah, they, yeah, this is nice. This is a nice little thing. Um, I think above those, I like the Matemashite Shingaki. Yeah. The of the throwback yep and then the U- uka and you mean were like saying oh everyone needs to jump higher jump higher during that part of the <laughs> that dance. song is all about yeah jumping with little hops see this is the problem you get like dance teachers like um critiquing you yeah which if we want to talk about that we talk about the wine and showroom or not show why in the showroom oh there was an announcement but anyway a wine and commentary so uka kato and you mean were watching and giving commentary yeah. So we did we did get like some um interesting info from it though. Because they interviewed Akarin afterwards. Yeah. And I think this the the first this first item that we have is like really, really interesting. So it says Akarin gave her clothes to each seven gen member, including the ones who oh. didn't appear in Shoniji. Yeah, so um, when, like when they started personal clothes or did she just pick out I the think so. No personal clothes. This oh, is her personal clothes. Her, so I mean obviously clothes. because she's been here ten years, right? So she has like a lot of like mm. co- outfits from um, handshakes and stuff. So um they they said something like uh no anyways. I remember like uh when they started, it's like, Oh wow, these are really nice clothes. What the hell? And then now that was why. the explanation. Yeah. And apparently, like everyone got their own clothes, so it it's not gonna be like you know they they cycle through it. So even the four, yeah, even the four who didn't, yeah, show up. So we get to see what they're wearing. Yeah. So that's uh, that's nice. That's something yeah. to be uh, to look forward to. Uh, let's we'll see. Next point here: Seven Gins voted for their favorite enemy single for first encore song. Yeah, Matt was so disappointed. Yep. Which going along with the Tabutai taste, I think Seven Gin also have bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> Rush <Kanai. laughs> But they only got to choose one song, though. Unlike Tempo Tai, who got to choose all of them. They chose the wrong song. The, not necessarily the wrong song. They chose a wrong song. Because there's I mean, only one right song. <laughs> so, okay, there, Matt, there, are, there are plenty. There's if, like, if, they did, if they did what other people here, it would have not made it, sense. Yeah. yeah, it would be weird. I mean, you could pick, like, Nagiichi. That would have been good. Oh, that would have been good, actually. Yeah. Or Kitaken, Kitaken or something. Yeah, yeah. But you like Hatsuko- the weird songs. Hatsukoi. No, 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 no. Hatsukoi. That would be weird, actually. Boku date nai chen. Or boku wa inai. No. Dude, I wonder, I wonder. Just keep wonder, choosing uh, graduation songs. I wonder how hard, like, Fuwa, like, tried to, like, lobby for, like, boku wa inai. Boku wa inai. <laughs> to get in there. 
Guys, can we do more quiet? <laughs> I mean, well, Zetsumetsu is Milky Center. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That's fair. That was so was Fuwa Milky position or Sayaka position? Uh, for Zetsumetsu. I assume she was center. No, I think she was Sayaka position. Really? Because yeah. Anju was in the middle. I think Anju was only center for, like, Catharsis. Really? Yeah. Be- yeah, I know. Um, Zetsumetsu has a weird thing, right? Where my- Sayaka and Milky swap out, swap in and out. Oh. Anyways, whatever. Moving on. Uh, uh, three top position, top three positions to make the other members want to fight to enter the top she, three. Yeah, so yeah, Akari okay. made it like made three. the top three members have really nice positions compared to the others to like make the members like want to improve their position and fight for it. Mm. Yeah. So basically, how she did it was like um, like the the top three like stands out like completely. Mm-hmm. So there was there's like a a a divide between the the first three and the last four. And she said like uh when when she was starting out she was like uh looking at like Saya Milky Nana right and she always wanted to like chase after them so she wants uh Seventh Gen to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Which you know is a weird thing for her to say when uh, in Queen. She Dash, wasn't she even says, one like, of those three. <laughs> yeah. Which was yes. <laughs> No, she's off to that, the, side the whole time. <laughs> that's what she's saying. Is like she wants them to, you know, chase after, to, to be able the... to chase after something. Yeah. Speaking of chase after something, uh, Reiko got her wish. <laughs> <laughs> the Reiko lobby triumphed Worked. with yeah. uh, Akane, <laughs> and there's no Yume Wanigana in the set. I list, mean, which is it, it, it doesn't really make sense to have Yume Nige, though. Did you, you think saying... that they were gonna get Yume Nige? Well, I said, like, you were saying, like, it'd be weird because Sayaka sings them. Like, they should re-record it, call it Yume wa Nigi 2020, and have Akarin <laughs> do the gamba. <laughs> like, the only sad thing about this is, like, they didn't just redo Yume Nige. Mm. Just give it to 7th Gen, right, and have them do it. Yeah. Like, the, the entire, co- the, the, the stage, not the song. Mm. Or both. Well, the, with the time... The timing of Akarin's graduation. I mean, they wanted to do this, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, oh no, I know. I'm saying, like, when, when Saika graduated, she said, like, you know, she wanted the stage and this song to be, like, you know, sung forever. Like a permanent stage. Uh, yeah. yeah, she wanted, like, all the... She, she wanted... Like, that's the weird thing about, like, the thing with Reiko, too, is, like, Sayaka herself said that, like, the, the song should not have, like, you know, um, like, permanent members. Should always be like the next gen of NMB. Mm. So there, yeah. Well, Akarin Whatever. had better, bigger ideas. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think maybe they'll change the stage when, if and when seventh gen gets their own like Kinky Kisei song. I don't think they're ever gonna change it though. I'm, I, I mean, if for example, like they do an eighth gen, and there's more than. There's there's like sixteen can you say, then they can go back to Yumi Nige, mm. or Kokoten. Ooh. Mm. Like Kokoten has been gone for so long that I kind of miss it now. Yeah. <laughs> I got so sick of it too. Kokoten's tough though. It is. It is very tough. Like everyone says, like it's it's a hard it's a hard stage. Especially the um, Fumono Chini Mankaini. Anyways. Cool. All right. So having to do it for the 10th, or not 10th, what is 10th anniversary? 7th, 7th gen stage. Yeah. Brought to you by Akarin and B Idol. Looks <laughs> uh, like sponsor. Uh, talk about Gemini stage briefly. I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it was very good. So I heard there's like sexy <laughs> stuff. Rika T was really sexy or something. Yeah, but the like, they were wearing. it's pretty pretty fast that like since Gemini announced that they were forming to like getting a so getting a stage. I think it's less of like a like a Goryoshi situation, more yeah. of like a we need we need to fill these spaces, yeah. these slots. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, you too. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. and then like <laughs> you guys want you guys want making oh, sure. Go ahead, cool. That's worth it. Let them let them shut up for like a few months. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I just clarified Gemini's uh, unit with uh, Rikati and Momone. But yeah. Yeah, it's. I think mean, there is also a Dai. Is, is that also a Digest video of that? 
Not yet. Or not yet. Okay. I mean, there eventually will be. Yeah. And they make a digest for everything, so. Yeah, I don't even recall what the set list was, but. They have, like, weird English, too, right? Weird English? I can't confirm or deny that. No, at the start of the digest, there's like N&B oh and yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's a group that based in Osaka. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. They've been doing that since for a since while. Since a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to do a break or? Yeah, let's do a break. We'll take a break and we'll come back with some more news. <laughs> And we're back. So uh, we just talked about a lot of like shows and CD talk. So let's speed through the rest of the news that we have here. So first up, we have uh, Nagisa is NTT Docomo Rugby Team Ambassador, which is kind of random. <laughs> if you think <laughs> about it. Speaking of random, yeah, it's super random. I have no idea. I mean, she's popular, I guess. She's popular. Her face is out there, you know, well-known among like her. Her, her brother plays rugby. Yeah, which we found out through uh, some research. <laughs> community yeah. research efforts yeah anyway it's yeah. neat i guess i mean it's good for her yeah great for her but you know it's not much to say about it uh next uh nmb uh did like a budokan thing it was like what modern chihi there's a lot of them R- actually rika t rika t Coconut. Uka and uh Kokona. they did they performed in the like sword and fan dance yeah which like is like, yeah, some like traditional Japanese not weeb shit, but like <laughs> <laughs> so like when I like when like you talk about like weebs and stuff, like if you're into anime and like you know idols and stuff, that's super weebish. And like which I mean, if you're into that, I'm like okay, sure, cool. Um, but I I, I hate the the foreigners who aren't into weeb shit. It's the ones like oh yeah, I like hiking and karate and. <laughs> <laughs> tea ceremonies like those 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 weaves piss me off i have a, i have a co-worker who's like really into kendo yeah it's like, like what weave. the fuck <laughs> <laughs> those people i hate like the anti-weaves i mean they're like nerds for a different thing yeah they're, like the, they're the ion style nerds that's probably why i don't like, like how ion. people who play who play fantasy football are like just playing <laughs> they're just like it's D D for nerds. jocks Exactly. Yeah, D and D for shocks. Yeah, that's like the way to put it. Um, I I guess like like Shuma, like she's been doing like this like ninja school shit or whatever for a while. It's a it's a random like YouTube show, right? Like she yeah. shows up and actually, yeah. I mean, her, her she's kind of had the like traditional Japanese arts care yeah. for a while because she did sado like tea ceremony Tees, yeah. for a long time. And like her YouTube channel is all about like wearing you know, kimono kimonos, and, stuff, kimonos yeah. and tea ceremony stuff. Yeah, it's like this like ninja stuff. So <laughs> I think when I got a ticket for, her, I wanted to ask her to do like the Naruto run. She's like, ninja <laughs> stuff. I, don't think, I don't think she knows about it though. She's a real ninja. <laughs> no, no, no. But there was a recent trend on trending tweet that said like uh, revealing the generation gap between uh, people who watch Naruto and people who watch Kimetsu no Yaiba. Oh really? Okay, it's like, like kids. Kids these days like don't think of it as the Naruto run. They think of it some as something from Kimetsu. Kimetsu. Shit. Oh shit! Oh really. my god! And see, back in my day, it used to be the song the Hedgehog run, <laughs> 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 no, like... <laughs> or even like the, the Super Mario run. I think like you know, he does it. Like, yeah, Mario it's World. a Super Mario. Oh, run. Really? Yeah, Super Mario Sonic run. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, and then they also had like you know Miru and some other like top members go there to kind of like support them and cheer them on. I and uh, they performed. Koji. They performed. Uh, date, date. Date, date. They did a mini live, so it was super awkward. Yeah, I, I, like, I can see that different. The real. It was like the real, uh, like professional, like traditional Japanese dancers and singers performing this like super quiet and calm thing for an hour. And then suddenly the NMB comes in and does water the people. <laughs> Disrupts the wa. <wah. laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they actually had like some of the like fan dancers do a collab in the back when they were doing uh Tokonoma. 
I mean, that they, probably need, the most they, need, they need an MB to cast, yes. get viewers and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it was so, kind of a cool collab in that way. Like, see the members try something new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, even get the, get the other way around. Get these dancers to help out in the NMB live. I think it's interesting. Like, it's always like you know, like for example, like Ayan doing the the bonsai thing. Like, it's 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 mostly useless, but I mean, it's something. Like we could and have said mem- we could have said the same thing uh, with like Takeda Barbecue, right? But but that hit. Yeah, so. and the members get some themselves. Like yeah. Oh, especially for someone like Marty. Yeah, and it's always like you know getting out and like doing like media stuff. Always like it, I mean, it's good uh, as it is, right? But it also it's also good for motivation for members. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, I'm actually doing work. Yeah, and you know, like playing mahjong and like, doing showroom is not really work. <laughs> <laughs> or point apex. <laughs> hey, hey, she 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 spends a lot of effort on the. I guess so, yeah. Uh, speaking of spending a lot of effort on stuff, wait, wait, I'm skipping ahead. Eh, we can skip ahead to this anyway, it's fine. Uh, Yuki Tsun camera exhibit. I skipped ahead a little bit. Yes. So, this is at like a art gallery in Osaka. Hmm. For like ten days, she has a exhibit of like both old pictures she's taken over the years, and also a new photo shoot she did with like ten members she picked. I assume this that a lot of this is like what she was gonna put out in the book that got canceled. Yeah, canceled. probably. Oh, she had a book that was that was canceled. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it you found canceled. out after it got canceled. So it got canceled because of COVID. Corona. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay. Just like as in like you got canceled because you couldn't do like any release events with it or uh probably or just what like you gonna do like actual de- shoots and stuff. De- probably delay I think it was mostly shot already and it was like probably just distribution and business side things with like the publisher. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And uh okay, yeah, so then with this is like it's a exhibit of her shooting photo photos of members. Right, so who the members are? Do we uh, do this for Chihi, Anchu? There, those that's are all that matters. I remember, <laughs> yes. Uh, I think like uh, Yuzuha, like Momone, or whatever. Just yeah. look it up. There's a link here, but I don't think it really tells. It's no, just for the buy tickets for the thing that you can't actually. But you can, to. you can. Uh... Buy the, some of these photos on the NMB official online. Ah, store. right, that's true. So, like, they there is a mini photo book available here, and then there's like random photos of the members she took pictures of. Oh, so actually, Kokona is one of them, and Saipi. Oh, yeah, speaking of the official goods store, they actually added some new goods for the. Uh, Quinn, I can know. Thank you. Uh, there's a I love Budaman plate <laughs> for three thousand yen. That's the only one I might consider. Yeah, getting, but and then there's also uh, because you could actually use it, right? Yeah, like, right? Yeah. three thousand fucking yen though. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, I bought the Takeda barbecue plate. Yeah. So, um, and then also there's a bag. It's like a back, kind of like a backpack. Yeah. And it's uh it says NMB forty eight eats, as in like it's an insulated eats. bag for. Food. So it looks like it looks is, is like it Uber eats bag. Is it yeah, insulated? It is. Yeah. Uh, is it insulated? Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, Roosh. it looks like an Uber eats bag. So Two if any Roosh. of you are doing like uh, okay, Uber this, eats this, this, bito, you could use that. <laughs> it's no walk upon eats though. <laughs> yeah. I, I was saying right, you should, they, they should have just sold the walk upon eats bag. It was just like a bootleg. bootleg <laughs> Uber eats bag. Uber eats bag. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, it's like you know, like knock off like Supreme Goods gear or whatever, like Chill Chihiller or whatever, right? It's be a knock off of Supreme or Thrill, no, uh, not she, Thriller. She, no, she didn't. She didn't do it as a knock off of anything. She just wanted to write it in English to look cool. Oh, so it's accidentally turned into a knock off. <laughs> That's even worse. I never thought of it as a knock off. Anyway, 
Uh, me, well, in fairness, me neither. My, yeah, because I thought it was like the really Frasher. It was like Frasher, like the logo for like the no. skateboard magazine. Maybe she was slightly inspired by that, but I don't think so. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so if you can check out the you can some camera stuff on line or on Twitter, yeah. wherever. Yeah, there's a photo book. There's a desktop calendar. And they have there's a even of like a, a smartphone ring. Um. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, none of us can make it. It's in Osaka. It's and Osaka, it, and, and it, it's all like on weekdays. And it ends tomorrow or something. Yeah, that too. Jeff would have gone if he won the talk yes. show, or like a theater show in this week. Yeah. Uh, speaking of things, I would have gone to Osaka for, um, but I didn't. Uh, there's <laughs> the <laughs> uh, here at the park special event. Um, which is kind of like it's like mo- most of the members, some of the members from the Jinro video thing from the Koi Nakano. Thank it's, you. It's basically the Undergirls. Yeah, plus Anchu. Oh well, no, she's she's, she's not, part of Undergirls. She, oh right, right, yeah. <laughs> um, it was like only like six, I think six or seven of them. But Anchu was center, I think. Well, she was center for rota- a bunch of people, so it was the, it was they, the dream. And then Sad Haru. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it they was rotated. And Sad Haru. Yeah. Pretty much everyone had a center yeah. song except like Hinacho. <laughs> and, one, and one other member poor Hina, poor Hinacho. Um, but yeah, it's just a mini live they did there. Yeah, at the amusement park. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see anything. I, the only thing I saw was the pictures. Of, like, there's like this like weird like summoning circle or something. And I saw like her. I saw Anshu. I think I saw um, Coach from Modern. I like, do like a weird like like Superman or superhero landing pose on top of it. That's that's neat. And that, and that was also like the start of when her like, hey, don't post my photos without my permission. That was when that whole <laughs> shit show started. Uh, but yeah, that happened. Uh, oh, this is also announced. This is actually some fresh, relative, rele- relevant news. Big news. But we already knew about it. Psy grad concert. We already knew about it. It's coming December 14th at Oryx Hall. And actually, she announced the title. And it's called oh Happy Psy Ending or whatever. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So this one... This one I hate. Uh, so we'll be idle. I'm ambivalent about this one. I, I fucking hate. <laughs> Why? It's the most grammatically correct one. <laughs> I, yeah, he has a point. Yeah. Well, at least we'll be idle doesn't have sex connotations. Yeah, this one I saw is like, you... is this what she's gonna be doing after uh, <laughs> she graduates? Oh open, up, open up a massage parlor. <laughs> You get a special of happy Saipi ending. Oh my god. That's only the most expensive one. The most expensive one, yeah. Oh oh my god. I mean, I didn't think of that normally, but... I mean, you you interact with Matt. You interact with Matt a lot, Jeff, so you didn't think of that. Yeah, that's why I was laughing at this title the whole time. I haven't made that comment. I don't. I don't, I don't think I don't go nice every time I see the number sixty nine. <laughs> That's just a meme, though. <laughs> Four twenty sixty nine. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> That's the name for. Oh an unfortunate name for her concert. Uh, only, which o- I mean, only like English speakers would get it. Yeah. It, not even only English, uh, English speakers with their heads in the gutter. Ryan, did you get tickets for this? Did you actually, are you going to this? No, I lost. Okay. You lost the okay because they did do like other fan clubs, um, but they are going to be streaming this on like four different things. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll watch it online. Yeah, it, it it it's it's kind of a good feeling that I don't have to worry about not going to one of these things. Well, you say that, and you're going to feel well, so yeah, I know. upset when I know, but Queen you Ted know, shows up. You, you you have to. It's not like, gonna you happen. Know, yeah. You have to suck happen. it up sometimes, right? Like, yeah. Uh, we can also confirm that uh, I should be kind of weird if Quintet showed up. I actually wouldn't be too weird um, because Akarin, actually, her last uh, theater, like her actual graduation ceremony is going to be on the 30th of November. So a couple yeah. weeks before this. Which is one year exactly after Yuri graduated. So it was, was Akaris, Akaruso or whatever? Was Rinso. 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 So the Akane and Yuri ship. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I I, I think it's way too long, though. <laughs> Since she announced? 
since she announced since her, and since yeah. since her grad concert. Well, that's yeah. because I guess there's a few factors involved. Yuri quit like less than a week after her grad concert. Yeah, well, she was very fixated on that. Date. Yeah, <laughs> this is more like I think maybe like her contract, like she want, doesn't want to pay the next month rent or something. <laughs> <laughs> so she wants to get out before the end of the month. I think I think uh, this is gonna be a pattern. I think soon because um, it's a good date to quit because then you get like December off, and then you can start again in January. Yeah, yeah, one month off and then the end of the year. Yeah. Doesn't because matter. Sayaka did the same thing. She took two months off, I guess. Yeah. Fun, fun employment. Yeah. <laughs> fun employment. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Fun employed. Uh. Uh. Yeah, so there's that. Oh, I mean, well, so she did have a bunch of stuff, so she did do, like, this extra, the special uh, online calls. And no, she even enough, has, like, uh, AKB calls. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to bring to next. Yeah, she still has AKB calls, like, on the 28th. So, like, unless you got tickets yeah, for oh, her, you yeah. redeem days. those for the makeup sessions. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that sucks that, like, your, her last event is an AKB event. And it was, like, first come, first serve or something stupid like that, right? Yeah. Like, limited, super limited to only, like, one day. Um, okay. So there's those. Uh, next piece, uh, we, I wrote this as Yugata, NMB, is Yugata and Yorugata, or just Yugata? It's both. Both. Yeah, it's Hirugata. Hirugata Yugata also. and Hirugata. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hirugata, Yugata, NMB versus YNN Clusterfuck. <laughs> and it's just, uh, what, fans are really angry that the YNN lost those shows. Yeah, I mean, it's Lion, weird because... Is it Lion Live now? The Lion Live, yeah. It okay. became a pay-per-view. It was so weird though because like uh Yurugata and uh, Yugata and Hirogata started out as like Kawaiian shows. Yeah. So when Kawaiian closed, they they moved to YNN. Yeah. So basically, from YNN's point of view, yeah, we were doing you guys a favor hosting the, these shows. And then the fans were like, "Yeah, what the fuck? We paid for it." <laughs> And then there's a whole, like, the guy on Twitter is, like... <laughs> I, I think he was drunk or something. Well, he's, Start, like, this, like, going this month, and... like, in November, we're going to give you 300% satisfaction, customer satisfaction. That's our goal. Yeah. And they haven't done shit, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Aside the from, like, you know, today. They, they did. The first thing they did was a, the, theater, the theater show commentary for 7th Gen. Yeah. But then that's, like, cheaping out, because the main attraction is, like, the theater show and not the, an actual wine and thing yeah well uh, but then also there's uh actually before that week before they did the behind the scenes of the tim anniversary but the thing is like thing. that's free content right like they always do that too so they haven't really done anything like you know special special like yeah like there's the big no thing, the elephant in the room where things are gonna be coming up you know, next month is 24 hour girl tv or whatever that's probably so right everyone now. knows that 24 hours is coming up right so why and then it's probably like yeah if we do 24 hours these people will shut up right and be happy about it <laughs> but but still right right now like like why and then has like really shit value consider considering like what we used to get for the and like it's like it got us through corona through like the whole lockdown stuff it's like this summer yeah like the whole Tokyo Remo and then the the game where the camera like the summer the summer thing yeah summer the werewolf thing. stuff yeah so it was I a think, lot of fun yeah yes yeah. so with this it seems like okay the only time you should really be subscribing to YNN is like august when you have the big events august and december yeah maybe yeah. i mean yeah, summer the summer is like kind of weird it's like super late this year actually was was it september this year it was august uh no i think it was august but it was like last week of august yeah yeah but it was so. it's usually in july then it, this year it was in august and it was like a, in, with, with a very small cast because mm-hmm. usually it's a big it's a big group when they yeah. do the it's like two generations or whatever yeah. right and this, yeah. this year so 20 with coronavirus 24 hour and that's usually all members it's gonna be really interesting how they actually do this yeah it's gonna be weird like how like, are, are they, they gonna, gonna do, do zoom and remote i think that probably be the most sensible oh my god i hope not I hope not, because I I am so over watching Zoom streams. Like, well, I mean, they they've done Uno Prison on Zoom, so you know that's gonna happen again. Yeah, and Toki Remo will probably show up again. Yeah, there's gonna be like a Christmas version of Toki Remo probably. Yeah. You can get like Wakapon again, like Santa, five versions Santa, of Wakapon. Now. Santa costume, <laughs> Wakapon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the last one was like three versions of Wakapon. Right? Yeah. Um. I mean, what else they would do? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I hope I hope YNN does something. It's it's, it's kind of annoying that they haven't done anything. Like even like you know the Hasa stuff, right? Like that doesn't cost any money. Why don't you just do that? Well, that's because Hasa is on hiatus right now. <laughs> I know, was, like something similar, right? Like I mean, I guess like the Kato stuff was boring. I hope I hope they don't do that. There was a there was that a uh, I think someone had a good point how like Saipi graduating and uh, Hasa being on hiatus means they won't really get like a proper like closure to like that arc of the Hasa cardboard. I mean, they, it it always happens though. Like, there's yeah. a lot of like uh, shows that just ended <laughs> without any explanation. So yeah. whatever. But then they think, like, again, to the whole, like, because the last Hasa Cardboard episode, like, that whole interviewing the candidates or whatever. So, like, you can oh. foreshadow, oh, they're going to replace IP. Yeah. But I think none of them actually got hired. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to happen. Anyway, yeah. So hopefully, you know, hopefully they figure out why. And maybe we might, we might know about it next month, next podcast. or No, oh, maybe the, next week then or something. They, they said something about the November, right? We're going to give you 300% satisfaction this month they have nine days left yeah they, they just like they only give me like 30 percent <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i hope i hope they find what they want to do next uh zoom plays yeah back to zoom doing plays another... doing more of those and uh actually they're going on as we speak uh the first they're doing two casts uh actually jeff is gonna watch both of them yeah, I'm watching. We're, Matt we're both, and I are watching both watching the same one <laughs> tomorrow evening. Oh, you're watching the same uh, one. Yeah, yeah. So you could you couldn't even choose like a different show. Well, no, I could have, <laughs> but I just chose to choose the same one he was doing. Okay. Because might as well. Yeah. Cause the gimmick with this one is that it's gonna have multiple endings, <laughs> and the audience votes on something like using the. The vote function in Zoom. <laughs> choose choose your own adventure. Yeah, yeah. But there's only two endings. <laughs> oh. So. Um. But with this, we have two casts, just like the last one. So cast one, Nanaho, Mion, Anton, Anchu, Shio, uh, Shiori, and uh, Reiko. Uh, so I'm only watching the first cast because Anchu's in that one. So it's like 100 yen festival. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> Jeff is watching the first cast because. Not a hose in there. Yes. So in the seas for his second, uh, Oshi. <laughs> no. Um, and then cast two, you have. Is it Sad Haru? Sad Haru. Sad Haru, Chihi, Yukitsun, Miki, Reiko, and Shogumai. That's not Reiko. Is that not Reiko? No. That's Mirai. Mirai. What? I said Mirai. I said Mirai. <laughs> you said. <laughs> then I'm saying. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, Mirai and Shogun. I'm gonna watch at least two shows of the second group. And that one's hopefully also can, like a week later, two weeks later. Yeah, hopefully I get two different endings. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. You pay for two of them, and then it's the same the ending. Same ending. <laughs> That's how they get you. You gotta watch more. Yeah, but the we we watched the is it the like pre-show. Last night for the first group on YouTube. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. Pre-show. Thanks to certain sources in the Discord, but it was literally just like five minutes of commentary. Then they watched the previous play, Mm. and then had five minutes of commentary again. And this was the infamous, like you know, Anchu being quiet thing, right? Ah, this is a little bit before that one, because there was a pre-pre-show. On YouTube. What the fuck? Okay. Now it's just in like kind of explaining what the play is and like, okay, there's multiple endings. Uh, yeah, and like, what's it like to act on Zoom? But yeah, Anchu was like super quiet during that. And then, yeah, then I guess, yeah, there's this pre show thing that you guys watch. And I guess they only watched the was it the one, ca- the Kanto cast? Or not the con- yeah, con- con- Kansai yeah. cast. Well, yeah, or did you watch both? An- they only watched the Kansai one, but because An- I mean, I assume because Anchu and Anton were in that cast. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's so I assume for cast two, they'll watch 
the cast two's version. Well, watch the Kanto, one. Kanto version of the first show because Chihi was in that. You came to the conclusion that the Kanto one is better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you watch both of them. Yeah, I think I don't know. I don't know how many other people actually watched either of these plays, but I think Groovy uh, watched both of them. I only watched the the Kansai one. Yeah, uh, I just felt the acting overall was better for the second group, and not just Chihi, but like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like Nami Mi was actually pretty good and better than. Uh... But cast one or Kansai had Mikana, who was really creepy. <laughs> well she fit the role in that case I guess yeah that was actually Marin in the second role oh really second cast well who was better Mikana or Marin uh I think Mikana is just like went back to her natural self of <laughs> like being sassy and that kind of fit the character it's called acting <laughs> just, sort of, <laughs> just staring yeah that sounds anyway. like Mikana to me. Okay. Yeah, so the play those are going on. Uh, so you may not, you won't be, you may not be able to catch like the cast one, but you'll be able to catch cast two by the time you hear this. It's through Zoom and in the website it's called Matching Match dot You can look it up. Zoom play. Um, so this is the reason <laughs> why Ryan watched Tebutai stage, and that's because he wanted to see the big announcement that Su Chan was going to make. Because he's actually that secretly... she was going to graduate. He's <laughs> he's secretly a Suchan Oshi now. Um, she announced her photo book entitled "Anata no Yokono." Yeah, I think he just killed Ray Chan's photo. <laughs> and it's coming out uh, December twenty sixth. Twenty sixth? Is it twenty sixth? Sixteenth. 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 Yeah, sixteenth. It's the okay. day before Chihi's birthday. Okay. okay. I'm sure December, we'll remember that. December 16th. And yeah, yeah, as like Ryan said, yeah, it kind of like killed all the overshadowed uh, Ray Chan's book, which is coming out, I think, next week. No, Later it's this like, week. This week. Yeah. Wednesday or something like that. Yeah. It was funny it's... to see, like, immediately after the announcement, Ray Chan's, like, uh, photo book Twitter account started tweeting all these off shots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, see, the thing is, like, we've been getting that, like, kind of, it's been trickling out, like, over the past month or so. Like, we've been seeing all this, like, oh, man, Ray John's book, so much boobs. Yeah. You know, and then. And Su Chan's, like, even it's kinda, boobs. It shows, like, three pictures, and then, like, it already, like, blew up. Yeah. Way I, more. I think Su Chan's going to kill it. I, I mean, I, It's kind of sad, though, because you have, like, this, like. I guess it's nice to have a rivalry, but it's kind of sad. Just the timing seems like you could have spaced it out a little bit better, probably. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like they could have waited like six months or something. Yeah, and it wasn't it like was, this was already shot. It was shot in summer in Okinawa, and they're releasing it in December. It's yeah, like, what? Yeah, it makes no sense. But you can get it just time for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Great stocking stuff for that special someone. <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, the crazy thing, though, so they have, like, an Amazon exclusive cover, and it's her, like, wearing this, like, zip-up swimsuit thing. Swimsuit, like, is it a swimsuit? It's a, it's a Chinese dress. Chinese it dress, like, Chinese zip-up dress, Chinese yeah. dress. Cheap-ho. And With, like, it sold out. In the middle. It yeah. sold out immediately on Amazon. Like, you can't even pre-order it anymore. Which some people are, like, kind of upset that they can't, they couldn't get it. It's like, it's like the PS5. <laughs> but, but boobs. It's gonna be resold for, like... Ten times the price. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, Ryan's gonna be a scalper. I'm gonna. <laughs> flip it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I mean, it sucks for Rachon. Anyway, moving on. Mikana magazine cover. Mina, Ryan, talk about this because you brought this up. <laughs> we, me, and Jeff didn't even know about this. So, uh, I don't know, it was just, like, some random thing, like, came out on Twitter. It's like, oh, this, like, fashion magazine, why does it say, like, uh, next month the cover girl is, like, a Yamamoto Mikana and MB48? And it's like, oh, that's weird. And, like, I had, like, mo- most, like, Wotas are male, right? So none of us, like, n- knew what this what this magazine was. And, like, people looked into it. It's, like, a really, like, legit fashion magazine. 
that, that like the the cover girls are always like you know famous like actresses like the current month is like a famous actress actress last month famous actress like every like the last one that wasn't a famous actress was like sayaka a year ago is this the one where it looks like super like gothic like lolita no no that's bis this is this is the ah, one okay. that looks very um very casual like okay. th- that's why like a lot of people were saying like it kind of doesn't fit mikana in a way because uh, she 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 looks more like you know the glam glam style like okay she fits that style more than this one where it's more like you know uh you're wearing like casual clothes you're wearing glasses and all of that okay but yeah it, it's it's like um it caused a stir i guess like in the in like the water community right because it's like like it's hard to describe like how big of a deal this is right because it's it's gonna be like it's at the level of like you know getting on I don't know. I don't even know what 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 the good comparison would be. It would be like if like Misaki was a cover of Bubuka or something. <laughs> that's, that's like the the name you pull out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking like uh, what what's a magazine that we all know, and then what's like someone that you know, would paper. never would never be the cover of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so it's good for her. Like it's a it's a very big deal. Um, it's not a big deal for Wota because you know no one, none of us know what the hell this magazine is. But yeah, supposedly it's like, you know, very famous. And the thing is, like, I I could tell you guys who the actresses are that were previously cover models for this, and but then you not 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 neither of you would know who they are. Nope. Yeah, just take my word for it. They're they're famous. No, I... I know uh, one of them you mentioned. The who? Honda Tsubasa? Yeah. Oh, uh, I've, I've heard of her. her. Yeah. Uh, like, um, Hashimoto Kana. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. Komatsu Nana. Uh, Kitagawa Reiko. Keiko. Keiko. What the, who the fuck? Kitagawa Keiko. <laughs> Kitagawa Keiko. No. No, she wouldn't be on this. Yeah. She, well, she's like above this, though. She would be yeah, like exactly. Vogue or something. But yes, like at that level, like uh, like Hashimoto Kana level are the ones okay. who are on this. So it's a, it's a big it's a big big thing for her, and yeah, and no one has any explanation like how she got this job. All right. Uh, so next segment, we'll just do briefly. So we're not gonna do a super deep dive on the on the ten anniversary book, but we all got our hands on it, and we'll just talk about something we liked from the book. Or should I talk about? Yeah, we'll talk about that first. Jeff, tell me about Chi. Uh, interviews were good. She's on the cover. Top nine members. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, we, we filled up like eight slots and we need the ninth one. So what do we do with it? Hey, they picked her over HN. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor HN. Poor HN. Uh, okay. Only part I liked, I, I only looked through like, the profile stuff, the members I liked. Uh, so there's some funny stuff in here. Uh, so, like, in the profiles, they have, like, you know, like, name, what they like, favorite color, favorite stuff. They have, like, they have a segment for qualifications, or, like, certificates they have. Almost all the members have no qualifications. Oh, Harakaren. Harakan has, like, Aiken grade three, which is, like, I think, like, <laughs> high school or junior high school level. But I like how she mentioned. Really? <laughs> like, that's, like, something you have to, like, mention. <laughs> she also mentioned that, like, on the, the Hasa Cardboard uh, interview show, like, that was, like, on her, that was on her resume Oh yeah, yeah, I, 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 I saw missed, that. <laughs> I missed all of the like Pito Piro that she wrote on there. Um, Andre had a really funny thing. Her qualification is like she's she's like a element. I think it's like sixth grade level kanji reading ability. <laughs> <laughs> I I read through all of them just to get the uh to find the who are who are their like favorite senpais because you yeah. Know, we, we love that we love that kind of gossip yeah unfortunately i was just, i was disappointed at all the shiroma mirus there oh i was disappointed at misaki who did you choose like sasha Sa- reno right? sasha reno yeah yeah oh my god wow. <laughs> not even an mv like, yep, oh she had oh she had time yep but yeah that's anyway yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this book i so i bought a little story so i bought this from rock book because it's like one of like the ones i had like i think 
I think Anchu, Harakon, and Kokona were all like the bonus photos for this, but apparently I didn't even get the right one. Rokatun <laughs> books, I guess they were, and I so looked it's a, later. It's a special, uh, it's a special unit, right? Like you, you don't buy the regular one; you have to buy a special one. Yeah, apparently that special one was sold out, and I didn't even know. I didn't look it up until I got it. I'm like, Wait, where's my photo? <laughs> but, yeah. well, I, I like pre-ordered it for pickup at HMV in the Shinsaibashi near the hotel because it was coming out the day I arrived in Osaka for the concerts, and then. The, the staff handed me the right one because I got the Chihi card. <laughs> uh, Ryan, got anything you want to uh, say so, about the book? So, um, I, I, I've talked about this like um, a couple of times, but um, the the book itself has an interview with uh, the <laughs> president of NMB. So he's officially like the NMB producer. So we have no idea what the hell like Akimoto does anymore. Probably but it's 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 a very interesting interview because the, you kind of like the thing that we talk about like in this podcast, right? Like we 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 play as like you know producers or something, right? Oh, that's good. Like that's a good idea. Like you know we like we like this part, blah blah blah, right? But this dude is like the actual producer, and it, it was interesting like to hear like his thoughts on like you know how NMB came about from like ten years and like all the, like the major like historical events. Mm-hmm. Obviously, a lot of some of it is like very like um, biased in a way, like tilted towards you know making everyone sound good, right? Like so they don't mention like failures and all of that. <laughs> but no, it's very interesting. Like uh, the guy like s- says like um, like s- says something like he 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 always tells like all NMB members like once a year, like when when he makes the big New Year speech, is that you know they should always you know. Uh, have like a secondary skill that they mm-hmm. have and then develop it because you know it will be useful in the future and and she and he and the thing is like i think like akarin is like one of his biggest like success quote unquote right even though he probably didn't do anything about that but he's like oh look at like yoshida right like she you know started like videos and all that and became super popular blah 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 but I think it's really interesting, like, uh, to like follow how he thinks because, like, he's very. Uh, he, he says something about like you know he always wants you know members to you know be themselves and you know do whatever they want, and he even says like you can look at like you know Shitamomoka and you know that you know there's nothing like uh, uh, off limits for NMB. <laughs> There's a lot of that. It's like a lot of very, very interesting things. Like I, I wish like someone would translate it so that you know, more people could read it. I'm not doing it though. <laughs> so Sounded like, be... sound like you were gonna volunteer yourself. Well, so nope. Like... <laughs> it's 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 too long and it's too dense. Like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna enjoy doing it if I did it. There's this one Twitter account of a guy. He does it for like AKB stuff. He'll take like magazine mm-hmm. articles. And then he uses like a lot of gra- he translates them and then like kind of like makes like a new version of like that of that article like the same pictures and everything and in English. In English. Oh. Yeah, it's like which is like a lot of work, but yeah, that'd be a cool should... thing to do. I wouldn't yeah. do that. I mean, even though I used to do like uh, like I know how to use InDesign and stuff. I used to do school newspaper crap. I'm not gonna do that though. That mm. sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like that's too much work. <laughs> I think mean, it's like one guy too. But yeah. yeah. Um. Actually, funny thing about how you're talking about like, how far like, NMB has come in the last 10 years, uh, and also not to translate and such, I've been doing the 10th anniversary special documentary, like 10, was it, what was it, what's it called, like 10th lap time, it's the thing with Choco Planet that they did, like, over 10th anniversary, it's like two episodes, two, two, two part special. Uh, it's, it's, a good, for, it's a good primer for NMB, and I yeah. do recommend people to go watch it. Uh, it's two parts, yeah, so first part has been translated, uploaded, and I'm almost done with the second part, uh... So the first part covers the first five years, and then the second part covers the last five years, and so it kind of talks, covers history, and it also covers like some of the variety show they still, they did, um, fun stuff. So basically, if you're an older NMB fan, you'll probably like the first half more because it's very very heavy in the nostalgia. Second half has a little bit of nostalgia because you know it has like the whole like Sayaka, you know, announcing grad stuff, and like the Sokuhaku, Sokuhaku, the big shuffle, Sokuhaku, what the fuck? So I don't know, uh, the big shuffle. So it was a big moment. Um, but then it also kind of focuses more on the the new gen members, with some slight with some slight 
I have some questionable things. Like, they totally don't talk about D1 or D2, even though there's not any members in that really anymore. <laughs> I mean, you know how D2 just well, got Well, D1 doesn't over. exist. D1 doesn't and exist. D2, D2 is, is like... considered veterans now. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, in yeah. the... Like, they talk about, okay, so, like, oh, first-gen audition, second-gen audition, blah, 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 you know. Um, but they didn't even gen, talk about third-gen either. They, uh, well... They just yeah, showed, they skipped oh, third gen. They did third gen, but it was just like, oh, they didn't like go into the audition. Just like, oh, they were they debuted on this day. It was, yeah. it was a little like a minute, like justice image, for third gen. Image, image, image talk. And was like, but yeah, like it did skip to D three. Like oh, okay, wow. Well. Yeah. They didn't really, well, I guess because Mikano was there. Right? Yeah, it's the only one that did it. But I mean, still, like you skip re repulling. Um, but yeah. Anyway, part two is coming up soon. Please look forward to it. Um, oh yeah. Matt's like you know Santa Claus. He's like Bring providing him. the mar- the the community with like all these translations. Well, I'm I only I've only done two, and then I'm also just like putting <laughs> stuff up on the blog. So Groovy is actually doing season one of episode one is also being uploaded. I think it's all is pretty much finished. I'm just I am I'm kind of staggering releases, and I think also the seventh gen documentary is also being worked on by uh, another person. So if you're looking for you know translated content, it's coming. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, then let's move into some comments really quickly. We have a bit of a catch-up on. Uh, first comment comes from Suzu, MVP. Comment MVP, Suzu. Uh, thank, about... thank you for your comment. Yeah, so if you have a comment, you can do so in the YouTube section, or also hit us up on Twitter, or you can email, I think, nmbtakoyaki.party at gmail.com. Uh, no one ever emails us, so... So in the comments, though, we have Suzu uh, wrote, uh, having first, this is about 63, and I got our predictions for the 10th anniversary concert. Some of this was really outdated. Anyway, <laughs> Suzu writes, uh, having first gen appear is a realistic thought, but I don't think everyone will appear either. I can also see none of the first gen appearing if they can't get Cyan Milky to appear. Uh, but I also think it would add more flavor if we could get other gen grads to appear. After all, it is the 10th anniversary of NMB, uh, even though it's technically the first gen's anniversary uh if they were gonna do just a first gen focus they might as well do the concerts for the anniversaries of each gen that's just a good point i think i think he hit it on the head right like i think um you're gonna have 10th anniversary for second gen next year you know (laughs) well actually you might wish it would be a 10th anniversary third gen so yeah you would come back (laughs) and so maybe yeah i think uh yeah i think this was the episode we were saying that like it's possible that like i think i was saying that like uh no no other gen will show up except first gen yeah which was like you know really wrong <laughs> yeah we, we got some nice surprises obviously yeah, yeah. uh yeah. oh suzu also mentions uh suzu graduating doesn't bother me after all i am suzu <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> big fan <laughs> big fan of suzu uh also okay and then uh responding to 10th anniversary <laughs> Uh, best concert ever. Lack of newer gins. We're gonna make up for the Lily concert. So, oh, oh. So I think because we, we talked about in that in that report, like there wasn't really much new gin. Yeah, and and yeah, and influence. Suzu does get it correct yeah. in that you know uh, there was no point in you know focusing on the new gin new gens because they, got they their get own their own concert. concert yeah, yeah. Uh, best concert ever. Uh, it's it's up there. I think second best, top two. Yeah, it wasn't it's probably perfect, like, it's, is it is it the best uh, concert you've seen live, Jeff? Uh, Are you gonna say like danceable Jack in the Box or some <laughs> bullshit like that? You didn't even yes. see that live. Though. Danceable first anniversary. <laughs> okay, that was a but, dumb I mean, question to ask. Of the of all NMB, yeah, I think so. Is it the best? Because I've only seen seventh, ninth, and like UD grad. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you saw Yuri solo, so that's the best one. Oh, I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> that's not NMB. <laughs> oh, fighting words. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I'm saying that to clarify between like danceable. Yeah. Like, you okay. don't want me to say that's the first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you saw Quintet too, so okay. Anyways, uh, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like this and Sayaka and Sonic are the two like in top. I mean, I think it's hard to beat Sayaka Sonic, though. I think like if if there was no Corona, maybe there was a the, maybe tenth anniversary could have beaten Sayaka Sonic. Yeah. But like without you know without the fans and without like a big stage and without you know effects Maturing and all of and that, like yeah. Uh, I I think it was the best, the best concert they could have made. 
Okay, and even then they exclude like you know other concerts. If we just do anniversary only, mm-hmm. uh, this is the best anniversary concert. I, I remember you you post like your ranking. You said I think I think you said fifth is still best. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was nostalgia. I I have I have. I don't know. Maybe that either fifth or tenth would be for me. Mm. So the ranking would be like tenth or fifth, and then third, and then you know whatever. S- nine is up there. I think nine is up there. Nine. Uh, uh, I don't really like nine that much. That was had the whole that had Yuri's. She was center of it. I think yeah, yeah, she was graduating, so like uh, it, it was it kind of felt hollow to me. Yeah. Well, not as bad as eight. Yeah, I was gonna say it. It kind of felt like, like obviously, it was better than eighth, but it, it to me it felt very similar to eighth. Where with eighth, you were just waiting for Psychosonic. Yeah, it was like a stopgap. Even though they yeah. did like the like that, that gimmick was like the ten, this eight year advance. Yeah, but yeah, that like, was late. I think seven actually was pretty good because of the 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 three. Like it, they restarted it like three times. Uh, that was a really was dumb that, thing. Was that was that seventh? That was seventh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, they had like a great the great state the stage too, right? Like with the 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 circular path. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was great. Uh, I, I was just watching from a documentary. I guess two is like one of the worst ones. Yeah, because they went yeah. back to uh, well, the two theater. two was in the state in the theater. So yeah, it doesn't like... count. One was just in some random place. Is is in HK Hall, Osaka. Was it HK yeah. Hall? Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, it felt small. Yeah, it, it, it definitely was small though. Fourth um, was the worst one. It was like uh, Osaka Cube. They couldn't even get like a, a nice uh, venue. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. No, I know that's right. I yeah. was there. Six sucked too. Six like, had oh, the man. the shuffle. Yeah, that sucked. Eighth, eighth was like the forgettable one. Yeah, forgettable one. Yeah, okay. I like, and like how you like you like, like, ranked it like it me like the Final Fantasy rankings. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Five is the best, or even Dragon Quest rankings. I mean, like next year is going to be the MMO, yeah. the online MMO version. <laughs> You're go back to online concerts. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> uh yeah. Anyway, yeah. Cool. Uh, Tim Van Richard comment. Uh, I really loved Ocarina's dress. Yeah, I like. Uh, Tim Van Richard Day Two concert. I guess so. I guess it's just. I liked it. I mean, is, is it, it ridiculous? It was, it, yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of it, right? It was fucking weird, and it was something that no one has ever done. So bravo to her. Uh, okay. Next comment, short one from Sailing zero eight zero five. Uh, I wonder if the complete edition is supposed to boost singles or lipstick sales. Both. Single sales or lipstick sales. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, technically it counts for single sales. I mean, it depends sales, on right? who you're looking Are you buying... What was it? Well, I think I made a joke. It's like, you're buying the lipstick, but you get a free CD <laughs> or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm selling... I I, I bought this... The complete the edition. CD uh, for Chihi Photo. And then I'm trying to sell the lipstick uh, coupon on Mercari, and there's like more. I think there's more of people, more people selling that the coupon than the sell it. But some people are also selling um, the CD, CD out the coupon because like they all they wanted was the lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> so more people are buying it just for the music than. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, no, I guess they're bu- they might be buying it because they wanted the photos. And this didn't need yeah. the lipstick. Yeah. Did we figure out what the code ticket is for? It's a lottery, right? We don't know yet. They this they said is... that they will. This is like check the website, and I'm like, oh, okay, that means nothing. Well, that's yeah. You're talking about the serial code, like the handshake that's ticket in thing, in right? place in place of the Zen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. God, I, mean, I yeah. thought it was supposed to be a lottery. I mean, they're they're leave obviously leaving it open in yeah. hopes that they can do a real event yeah. in the future, but. In case it still has to be online yeah. or something. Yeah. Who can say? Yeah. All right. Uh, so that. Uh, next comment from Jerison Narration. Uh, if Shori, uh, Shion Hori is in the single, I'd be very excited about it. I think that's his, like, Oshi. His NB Oshi is Shion. Oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> She's going to appear on uh, 
Hono no Taikakai TV. Yeah, some sports vari- sports variety. Okay. So good yeah. for her. Her yeah. soccer stuff is getting her work. <laughs> this would have gone to Isochan probably. But. <laughs> uh, let's see. Suzu Yamada reminds me of Nase Nishino. Okay. And both of them are from the Kansai region. Well, we got a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you want someone from Kansai? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like wasn't Nase's, 40 girls for this. It wasn't like Nase's uh, cousin actually in NMB. Yeah. The Hayamariko. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, at least that Sai Marase should have a big graduation concert and she could possibly be the lead member in the group's next set single and have a graduation song nope. uh, I guess. a little late for that yeah. mm. <laughs> I, was, I mean maybe yeah, if she did her she now grab later but I guess we, we already did like the whole like you know like what if there was no corona okay Akarin could have graduated in spring yeah. Sai would well, the the, the 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 Akarin said she was gonna announce in uh, Akarin Fest, which was in the spring. So maybe she would have graduated in yeah. the summer, and then um, Sai P would have gotten the fall. Yeah. Um. This only thing I'd say. Uh. So there's Sai's Mahjong show that got stolen by Nogizaka. I guess that yeah. member left the group. Yeah. So uh, they should have in they should have they should have NMB take reclaim that show. Nah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> the the show's damaged goods. We can't do yeah. it anymore. <laughs> we yeah, have our, we show. have some new mahjong thing with on Mildarm or whatever. Oh, oh right, 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 that's right. They oh, got canceled. Canceled. Yeah. oh really? <laughs> Dang, yeah. Because no one watched it. <laughs> no one watched it. Because yeah. no one cares about mahjong. Well, except for except for fake Craig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did actually shout not, out to Craig. Speaking of. Mahjong bullshit. Did they ever? Would they get the results of that new contest thing? Yeah, they're going. They're doing. The I am right. I think I am con- one. I mean, they're doing the month contest now to actually air the commercials. Okay. Yeah. I know. On I think Anon is on this month. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, uh, and then B fixes it though because only two members go for it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Also, he predicted that Sayaka would show up to the concert, and also Yuri would show up to the concert for Quintet at 10th anniversary. Well, yep, you were well, right. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, next comment from a cool dragon about 10th anniversary. Uh, I really enjoyed the concert. I became a fan in 2013, so songs like Sozo no Shijin don't really mean much to me, but oh, I was well, choked. Okay. But I always, I always choke up a little when I hear Saika sing Kimi to no Yakusoku wo. Okay, Matt, so you know what that is? You know what that song is? No, tell me. What? I thought that was a rhetorical question, so tell me. Do you know, do you know Jeff? <laughs> no, I can't think of it. No, is what? It Mikazuki? Oh my god. It's the first <laughs> verse of Session of Time. Ah. Uh... Oh my god. I mean, I, I'm always bad at seeing lyrics written out. I need to get the melody. Also, you have like the freaking like preamble of like the, the most hype ass preamble. Yeah. You don't care about the fucking words to that song. <laughs> it's like the second verse of the Star Spangled Banner. No one knows it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good parallel. By the dawn's early light? No, the actual second verse. Oh, I have no idea how it is. Um, I think mean, okay. So I think it's referring to when that's like when Saika showed up and she sang that first line. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but also her mic was like fucked up or whatever. Yeah. Her monitor wasn't she was working. Kind of off key. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, fifth anniversary Yuri Geki Joe was literally one of the best things to ever happen. Uh, I really yes. enjoyed the majority of the throwback. I was assuming she would come out for Alma Croissant, so I agreed that it was a little awkward that when she didn't. <laughs> yeah, that that well, was yeah. Yeah. Um. That said. I was excited about Kato Center for Niji no Skurikata. <laughs> <laughs> I like when new girls perform that song. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. But, but the first gen version from 2018 was hype. Um, that's partially because I want Sayaka Center for everything. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that was, well, so that was 8th anniversary then. Was that 8th anniversary? 2018. Yeah, that would have been 8th anniversary. Yes. Yeah, that so was maybe the only good thing about 8th anniversary was that. No. No, nope. <laughs> Avengers is still bad. Yes. <laughs> uh, last comment 
from sailing 0805. I think this uh, was the Lily concert review. About, right? yeah, yeah, when we were bashing. And, and also Akai and Greg's concert. Uh, I hope Misaki won't hear this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and she, I mean, she could understand it. She could understand. <laughs> I'll tell her about her in the in the online call. Hey, I do a podcast about NMB48. You should check it out. She, nope. She's 12 years old, man. She probably doesn't know what the podcast is. She's not allowed to use YouTube, right? Why? Oh, because 13? 13 is the... Well, she will not, be able to. Well, not allowed to make an account. <laughs> Should be able to thir- or is that just an NMB rule? Is that a legal? No, 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 it's, no, a, no. It's, a, it's a it's a YouTube rule. I should be able to do it websites. in January. Should be thirteen. Okay. All right. It's like Get- it's like how members like, oh, I don't know anything about Twitter. This is my first time touching Twitter, and then they're like <laughs> a- uploading like <laughs> they're doing like a fleets pro. and all of that. <laughs> yeah, voting for K-pop contests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, those, so those are the comments from, uh, for the last couple podcasts. Um, so if you have a comment and you'd like to have us read on the show, you can do so by posting them on the YouTube, um, or respond to it on the Discord. We have a Discord for all the NMB fans to come and hang out and watch concerts and get into arguments about bad set lists <laughs> and center choices and stuff. Very fun place to hang out. And share grab your... Share grab your, yep, that's probably popping. I finally, I finally got my uh, res from Harikaran. Posted a picture of the Peter Peter starter kit. <laughs> which when she posted that picture, I laughed because it's like a it's the magazine plus a pink monster can. Oh, uh, breaking news! Breaking news! Oh, yeah, boom, I, was boom. Gonna, I, I was actually oh, going to mention this. I was oh, actually going to mention this. What's happening? <laughs> Give me the breaking She's news. <laughs> Playing the music. Appearing in Yoru Dora, which is like uh the nightly drama on NHK, the national broadcast of Japan. Yeah. Oh, no wonder she's been watching this show. So she's been talking about uh, the current drama recently. I have no idea what it's about, but she's going to... It looks like a appear. mystery drama. She's going to appear in one episode. Yeah. It, uh, it's a mystery five. drama. That's, that's, her, that's her big news. Okay, this is the breaking news part. Yes. Yeah. Airs next Saturday. That's big. That's that's big. That's big for her. Yes. So. Cause she she she's wanted to. Obviously, she was doing like stage plays and stuff, or was scheduled to this year until fucking COVID. <laughs> but she also wanted to appear in TV drama, so this is really good. Yeah. Congratulations to her. Hopefully, it's like you know. Uh, leads to other things. Yeah, it airs Saturday, evening, but like not a ridiculous time where no one will be watching. Eleven thirty. Yeah, it's pretty. It's actually a good time. It's, except that it's NHK, no one actually fucking watches it. But <laughs> hey, all the boomers will watch. Yeah. Well, no, they'd be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they watch the morning. The Asadora. The Asadora. <laughs> yeah, it's like a seven a.m. Yeah, good for her. We, we, uh, Jeff will give a review next episode. Yes. Yeah. And he he, he's, gonna, he's gonna he's gonna describe he's gonna describe it like minute by minute. <laughs> we'll give every him give him his soapbox and talk about yeah, every single like, analyze every single every line scene. She says. Yeah. So she says this like you know she said it like konnichiwa. No, no, she said it like konnichiwa. <laughs> so that 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 means like you know she she has like a very tough rough childhood. Once once again with feeling. <laughs> 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 all right and on that note it's going to do it for this edition of inabi takoyaki party thanks for listening and uh, catch us again next month for another edition of the podcast peace <laughs>